58. At the top of the hour, it's Duke and Houston. Creighton and Tennessee dip off at about 10 past the hour. They're set to decide the final team to join the seven others for the weekend. The Blue Jays and head coach Greg McDermott seeking a second consecutive visit to the national quarterfinals on Sunday. Obviously excited uh, to be back in a Sweet 16. Proud of the way our group performed the last week in Pittsburgh. You know, this time of year, you just never know. We've, we've stayed relatively healthy, uh, which has really helped us with our with our core group. And they just uh, continue to believe in themselves. They're incredibly connected. And, you know, that's the reason we've had the season that we had. And, you know, realize we have a heck of a task in front of us in, in Tennessee with how talented and, and well-coached that group is. That task begins with limiting Dalton Connect's touches and keeping his teammates at bay, the coach admitting, easier said than done. I don't know that you guard him with one guy. I think we have to give him different looks, and that's the plan. And, you know, hopefully take away his easy ones because he's going to make enough tough ones because he's an elite player. I don't know that you can totally get him out of sync. They have to see bodies. But, you know, the problem with Tennessee is they're unselfish. You know, they have 567 assists and 356 turnovers. So they're a team that's more than willing to make the extra pass, and Dalton is included in that. You know, that, that makes a team difficult to defend. You know, they run a lot of actions to try to get him loose and then play off that but when you've got a guy that scores at his level and it's still unselfish it makes it very difficult to defend at first horizon we know convenience has never been more important to vault fans with mobile banking from first horizon your bank is as close as your mobile phone and you'll find everything you need to take care of your financial life whether it's in the middle of a tennessee game or while spending time with the family mobile banking has never been easier or more convenient it's just another way. First Horizon has your back. First Horizon, proud to be the official bank of the Vols. Enjoy the world's most refreshing beer, Coors Light, all season long. Whether you're at Thompson Bowling Arena or hooping it up from home, crack open an ice-cold Coors Light, the official beer of enjoying college basketball wherever you are. When things heat up on the court, Coors Light is there to cool things down because it's made to chill. This season, reach for the beer that supports the balls. Mountain Cold Refreshment. Coors Light, proud sponsor of the Tennessee Volunteers. Celebrate responsibly. 21 means 21. This is the Vol Network. Tonight, it's Tennessee and Creighton in the round of 16 from Detroit. Back at the Tennessee Tip-Off Show, I'm Bobby Ryder. Well, the SEC will have at least one, hopefully two teams in the Elite Eight after a bit of a surprise last night in Los Angeles. Free throw up, free throw missed. Bell Heaven, it's blocked, it's blocked, Nelson blocks it, and Alabama is going to the Elite Eight for the second time in school history. We haven't really done anything yet. We beat two seeds that we were supposed to beat. Those programs had two combined NCAA tournament wins. There's only two SEC teams left in it. We haven't done a thing yet, so let's not act like we've done anything yet. Now, if we can beat Carolina, we've done some. Now we're one win away from a Final Four, the first one in school history. So I think these guys will be locked in. I think our guys will be ready to go come Saturday. That's Crimson Tide head coach Nate Oates, whose team will take on a Clemson team tomorrow, which beat them in the SEC-ACC Challenge much earlier this season. It's time now for today's Vol in the Spotlight, presented by Farm Bureau Health Plans, protecting Tennesseans since 1947. Plan on us. Well, Tennessee's Dalton Connect and I have one thing in common. We were both five feet four inches tall when we were freshmen in high school. One of us still is. The other is continuing to pick up All-American and Player of the Year recognitions during his first year on Rocky Top. And now takes another step tonight toward reaching the top of the NCAA Mountain, a national championship a week from next Monday. Earlier, the Vol Network's Vince Ferrari chatted with the no longer five feet four, now six feet six native of Thornton, Colorado. Made those clutch free throws at the end. Have you felt like the tournament has been officiated any different than maybe what you saw in regular season play at all? Well, uh, just more physical, you know. They, you know, they let you hit, so not much different from the SEC. So it's not that much different. Creighton doesn't foul very much. Coach Barnes has talked about that. How big is fouls in the free throw line in this matchup? Yeah, it's big. I mean, uh, you know, when we get to the line 
line, we get easy looks in the beginning, and then we could also uh, get our flow better so we could uh, get our shots up early. And, uh, you know, getting the free throw line will be big for us. Josiah Jordan James, Rick Barnes' reference, fix it plays for him. Describe what he does that maybe isn't in the box score to help you guys out. Yeah, he, exactly what you said. He does stuff that's not in the box score, and he's a winning player at the end of the day. He, he does all the dirty work and what the team needs to do that most people won't do, so Josiah is a big part of all this. Let's talk about Creighton. They're known to try to run teams off the three-point line. What's important when they're taking that approach against you? Yeah, we know uh, they're going to try to run us off, and then they don't foul a lot, so we got to make sure we just go attack their bigs and the aggressors. What else stands out about this Creighton Blue Jays team? Their offense is really good, and we just got to make sure we uh, block in on our defense, finish it, the rebound. How have you guys practiced coming off of those first two games of the tournament? Uh, practice was good. It was high energy. We was all excited. You know, not too many people uh, go to the Sweet 16, and we got to go, so we got brought a lot of energy, and it'll be uh, a lot of fun. What's your confidence level in this team advancing to the Elite Eight? Oh, very high. We, we planned this. We wanted to go to the Sweet 16 since we all got here, and but that's not the ultimate goal. It's uh, to keep pushing further and further in this tournament. Dalton, good luck. Thanks for the time. Appreciate you. Yes, sir. Thank you. That is Tennessee senior Dalton Connect. Bobby, back to you. Vince, thank you very much. That is the Vol Network's Vince Ferrara. As tonight, a berth in the Elite Eight is on the line for Tennessee and Creighton. As you listen to Tennessee basketball on the Vol Radio Network. Hey folks, it's Greg at Rusty Wallace Ford, and I've got some big news for you. We're having our winter savings sale, and we got a great selection of new Fords and some of our best deals ever. Choose from our most popular models, like Ford Explorer, Escape, Bronco Sport, and America's best-selling truck, Ford F-150, all with 2.9% financing for 72 months. And every new Ford comes with Rusty's exclusive 200,000-mile warranty. Hurry out today. Rusty Wallace Ford in Dandridge. You'll drive home happy. When cancer enters your world, chaos likes to follow. But at Covenant Health, you're partnered with a nurse navigator, your champion and compass through the fog. More than just a nurse, they're your unwavering cheerleader. Because when you're giving 100%, it's nice to know that your team is too. With cancer, it can be hard work getting well. But it should never be hard work getting care. Covenant Health Cancer Care. Let our strength be yours. Imagine yourself in a new Toyota, like a new electrified hybrid Toyota, with more hybrid EV choices than anybody else, including hybrid versions of the best-selling Camry, the best-selling RAV4, the all-new Grand Highlander, and the powerful new Tundra. Now through April 1st, get low-rate financing, special leases, or customer cash, depending on model. Plus, every new Toyota comes with two years no-cost maintenance. Get details at Toyota.com. Ready, set, go get your Toyota today. Toyota, let's go places. 107.7 107.7 WIVK. It's the Sweet 16 as tonight the sixth rank and Midwest number two seed Tennessee squares off against the 11th ranked and third seed Creighton in Detroit. There are no expectations of tonight's matchup coming even close to the first, and until now, most recent meeting between the two schools, which Tennessee won 34-28 at home over the Blue Jays in 1937. While neither coach obviously has ever coached against each other at their current schools, Rick Barnes does have a 5-0 record against McDermott. Barnes was at Texas, and McDermott was at Iowa State. Now let's get the last word courtside from Tennessee head coach Rick Barnes, brought to you by First Horizon. Exciting time, Sweet 16, and they got a really tough challenge tonight. It is, but you expect that this time of year, Bob. I mean, we've talked about it many times, and uh, getting here into the tournament is a difficult thing to do, and then each game is difficult, and they get harder as you go, go along because you can tell that the teams that are still playing are they're playing good basketball. And uh, But we got a uh, tough matchup. Uh, Creighton's a team that's, you know, they've been in the top five some this year, and they've been there. You know, they were a team that playing well last year, and um, like us, I'm sure they want to go further. Creighton's an interesting matchup. They don't play a lot of guys. They don't foul very much, and they try and keep you away from the free throw line. Well, they, they do a good job. They, they've got shooters out there, and they're going to shoot them. They're going to be very aggressive, and um, post guy that uh, more of a rim protector, I think, than I would call him a shot blocker. Uh, but he is a guy that uh, he's, he can score. They got somebody they can throw it to that when they're not making threes, they can put some pressure on your defense. But also, it's a matter of uh, us staying connected defensively and 
hope we can make some shots. Well, you talk about a team wanting to play six or seven, you would think you want to get them in foul trouble, and that would that be driving against them? Well, you would, but they, they're not going to foul. I mean, you go back, they're the least fouling team in the country, and if it were if it could be done, it would have already been done by now with the schedule they play and the teams they play, and they know who they want to play with, and uh, they've shortened their bench uh, this time of year, and they're going to be there and, and they're, they're not going to change they, they're going to do what all teams do when we get here there'll be some minor adjustments here or there but it's going to be all about what, what's got you here it's pretty amazing they haven't had a single player foul out all year well there's a couple i like to foul out but uh, <laughs> uh it's going to be hard to do but um we just got to again we got a game plan and we got to stick to it and when we need to make adjustments we got to make them You've got great respect for their coach, Greg McDermott, and he gives you credit when he drove over to Creighton to take the job. He said he talked to you on the phone all the way over there, and you were asking questions, and you convinced him to take the job. Well, I've known him, and he's a, he's a great person, first and foremost, and a wonderful family man. And uh, He, uh, you know, pretty much later on, my situation at Clemson, I mean at uh, Texas, where new AD comes in, they – want to go a different way, but I can tell you he did a terrific job at Iowa State in terms of put, trying to put a program in place. And I yeah, think you guys went head-to-head when you were at Texas. Yeah. He was at Iowa State. Yeah, and he, every time we played him, I took something from him, every time, because he's a, he's a great offensive coach. And and then um, he goes to Creighton and just he's done an outstanding job. And what I like most about him is it's been a great marriage. They have so much respect for him and the way he does things. Tonight it's Tennessee and Creighton here in the NCAA Tournament. Across the University of Tennessee system, we focus on making sure a UT degree is accessible and affordable. I'm Randy Boyd, president of the UT system, inviting you to learn more about UT's five campuses, our new guaranteed early admission standards, and scholarships like UT Promise, which enable 48% of UT students to graduate debt-free. In East, Middle, and West Tennessee, everywhere you look, you'll find opportunity at UT. Learn more at tennessee.edu. The Vol Radio Network takes a lot of pride in bringing the big orange into homes clear across Tennessee. And just like us, Delta Dental offers an extensive network in the volunteer state. Their network of dentists offer plans covering 100% of your preventive care, like exams and cleanings. And on top of dental plans, Delta Dental now puts the C in Tennessee with Delta Vision. Find out more at deltadentaltn.com. It's Big Orange Basketball Time. And as the official health care provider of the Vols, the University of Tennessee Medical Center is proud to serve you, UT athletes, and Vol fans living in East Tennessee. Like the Vols, we recognize the power of leadership and teamwork to achieve the best results. That's wisdom for your life and wisdom where you live. Visit wisdomnearme.com to find a location near you. This is the Vol Network, and you're listening to the Tennessee Volunteers in the NCAA Basketball Tournament. We're back with Tennessee basketball coach Rick Barnes. Coach, yesterday at the the, uh, practice here, uh, Santiago Vescovi didn't go through the practice. What's his status for tonight? He he won't play tonight. He hasn't done anything with us since our our last game, and uh, he's under the weather, and... um, so he hasn't done anything, and so we'll we'll go without him. So what's the? How does that adjust your lineup? We're gonna we're gonna start Jemima Mayshack there because we think one defensively we want to get off to a really good start there, and we want to pressure in the backcourt, and we have a feeling they're going to try to use a secondary defender to bring the ball up. And with that said, they, they have to bring it up against against uh, Jemima, which uh, we like that. And uh, but again, Jordan Ganey's got to be ready. Other guys on the bench have to be ready, and uh, you just got to get a great effort from everyone. You've kind of considered Mayshack a starter all season long, anyway. I've really considered him a starter for you know two years, three you know since he's the last two years he's been just a huge part of our our team and what he does, and uh, he's a more a guy that again uh, think about it a year ago this time he was our starting point guard. Yeah. So he's got a lot of experience playing in the backcourt in big games like this. What are the two, two or three keys that you got to do tonight to win? Transition defense. Got to be able to get in our gaps early, but we got to, we got to get in the gap early. We can't we can't go from outside inside out. We got to get in and then get out because they're going to really move the ball. They they know that we're a gap team. They know uh, and there's no way they're going to want to play against our physicality, and so they're going to really try to move the ball quick and. Man, we're going to have great ball pressure. 
Coach, thanks. Good luck tonight against Creighton. All right, thank you. Coach Rick Barnes, his comments on tonight's game. The last word from Rick Barnes is brought to you by First Horizon, the first word in banking, First Horizon, the official bank of the Vols. It's Tennessee and Creighton in the Sweet 16 coming up next from Detroit here on the Vol Network. Please listen close. New Tellurides, New Tellurides, New Tellurides. The new Telluride you want is at Rusty Wallace Kia on Alcoa Highway. We have over 20 to choose from, and the price will not be a problem. Do not overpay for your new Telluride. Come to Rusty Wallace Key on Alcoa Highway, where the selection is great and Tellurides are being sold with no dealer markup. Don't forget, every new Kia sold on Alcoa Highway comes with a no-charge, 200,000-mile warranty. See dealer for details. 8817 Kingston Pike is where East Tennessee gets engaged. That's professional jewelers. Yes, spring is in the air, love is in the air, but you don't need any special occasion. Sure, there's the landmark occasions, there's the Valentines, the birthdays, the Christmas, all of that. But sometimes you just need to say, I love you, or... I got to get this watch fixed. I got to get this jewelry fixed. Professional Jewelers buys your gold where East Tennessee gets engaged. 8817 Kingston Pike and Athens. Sun up on a cool, sweet morning. Sausage frying in the pan. Make that sausage always Wamplers. It's the finest in the land. Wamplers, Wamplers. It's great sausage made on the farm in Tennessee. Don't say sausage, just say Wamplers for the best in quality. Make that sausage always Wamplers, it's the best in quality. You're tuned in to Tennessee Basketball on the Vol Network. Tennessee Basketball is about hard work and effort. It's about each man doing his job. We will give our all for Tennessee Basketball today. Tennessee wins! This is Big Orange Basketball. The drama and excitement of the NCAA basketball tournament motors into Detroit this weekend for the Sweet 16. After beating St. Peter's in Texas in Charlotte last weekend, the second-seeded Tennessee Volunteers face the third-seeded Creighton Blue Jays here in Detroit for the right to advance to the Midwest Regional Elite Eight on Sunday against Purdue. Tennessee wanting to make history, seeking to advance to the Elite Eight for only the second time in school history. Creighton has been to four straight NCAA tournaments, advancing to the Elite Eight last year, but they're wanting to go even further this year and get to the Final Four. These are two veteran teams. Tennessee has three fifth-year players and junior point guard, Zakai Ziegler. He played all 40 minutes in the win over Texas. Creighton relies heavily on its starting five. Three of those starters played all 50 minutes in the Blue Jays' double overtime win against Oregon. Two tournament-tested teams set to battle for a spot against Purdue in the Elite Eight as Tennessee takes on Creighton. It's time for Bob and Bert on Big Orange Basketball. Exciting play-by-play -play action of the Tennessee Volunteers on the Fall Network with Bert Bertelkamp and Bob Kessler. Sponsored by First Horizon. Celebrating 30 years as the official bank of UT Athletics. By UT Medical Center. The official health care provider of the Vols. By Farm Bureau Insurance. Our agents are there when you need them. We're Tennessee's insurance company and the official insurance of the Vols. By Ford. Visit your local Ford dealer. Proud sponsor of the Tennessee Volunteers. By the Natural Gas Utilities and Pipeline Companies in Tennessee. Natural Gas. And by Coors Light, the world's most refreshing beer. Coors Light, made to chill. Celebrate responsibly. Distributed across Tennessee by Cherokee Distributing. Back in 30 seconds. Tennessee basketball is brought to you by the Rusty Wallace family of dealerships. Hyundai, Kia, Nissan, Ford, Honda, Chevrolet, and Toyota. Aubrey's Restaurants, Covenant Health, Fleet Tire, Food City, official supermarket of the Tennessee Volunteers, Gus's World Famous Fried Chicken, Commercial Lighting Supply, Miller Brothers Transmission, Auto Repair and Body Shop, and your Volunteer Toyota dealers. Tennessee's been to 26 NCAA tournaments. They've only been to the Elite Eight once. They try and make it for a second time tonight as they go up against the Creighton Blue Jays here in the Midwest Regional in Detroit. Welcome to Tennessee Basketball. Bob Kessling and Burt Bertelkamp with the courtside. Burt, we just watched Purdue, a very impressive performance. Uh, they've advanced to the Elite Eight. Now Tennessee and Creighton, they're trying to match that. 
but it's going to take a good performance by either one of these teams to get there. No doubt. It's a good matchup, Bob. Both teams are, are excellent. They're experienced. I, I tell you, Creighton really shoots a three. They make 11 a game on average, shoot 36%, shoot 48% from the field overall. So they're an excellent offensive team. We've talked about the fact they don't have a lot of depth, but they're really connected with their starting five. They are, of course, they've been to four straight NCAA tournaments, Tennessee. This is the sixth straight for the Volunteers. So both of these teams have players that have been in this spot before. Yeah, and they want to move further. But both teams have, have tried and, and want, to, want to get to the Elite Eight in the worst way in the Final Four. But they got to go through each other right now. And Creighton's a team you got to beat. They're not going to beat themselves. They only commit ten turnovers a game. They, they match uh, Tennessee's great assist team unselfish trades the same way offensively so i think our defend defending the three and rebounding will be the key to the game and now with santiago vescovi out with the flu that does change the rotation for tennessee yeah it does it, it brings defense mayshack if mayshack's playing brings a little more offense if ganey's playing if ganey's hitting and he he can really he can really hit threes if he gets streaky and I think, obviously, we got to make shots. we got to shoot the ball better than we did against Texas. And we've really not shot the ball that well in the last few games. We're due to have a good shooting night. But still, Vescovy is the all-time career leader in yeah. steals in Tennessee history. You lose a lot of the little things that Vescovy does that maybe don't show up in the box score. Yeah, that and leadership. And you're right. He makes big plays on the defensive end. And he always goes after every rebound. He's a great rebounder for a guy his size. They'll definitely miss him. And an extra body that, you know, and, and five more fouls that you can get. So Tennessee's going to have to play shorthanded tonight, but I think they can get it done. Tennessee 26 and 8. Creighton is 25 and 9. We'll set the lineups and to get things started here from Detroit. We'll come back in a moment. This is Tennessee basketball on the Vaughn Court. Hey, it's Tennessee. It's Chad at Rusty Wallace Honda. It's March, so let the madness begin. You won't get your bracket busted when you score one of these. A 2024 Accord Hybrid Sport or a 2024 front-wheel drive CRV Hybrid Sport. Your choice, only $3.59 a month. Or get a game changer, like a 2024 Pilot EXL, only $4.39 a month. It's loaded with leather and all-wheel drive. So don't miss your shot at the best Honda lineup in the entire area. The intersection of selection, Rusty Wallace Honda, I-75 at Callahan Drive. See dealer for details. Hey, Vol fans, this is Jonas Adu. If you can't make it out to the game, you can always watch us at Fieldhouse Social. With good food, old beer, and one of the biggest big screens I've ever seen. <laughs> And I know big. Fieldhouse Social, just off campus at the University of Tennessee. Sports fans and foodies alike can enjoy a selection of 40 beers on tap and a delicious selection of menu items, all while cheering on the Vols. Catch Vol basketball at Fieldhouse Social. Fieldhouse Social, Tennessee Sports Bar, University Commons, right off the Cumberland Strip. Food, it's our thing. But how you shop for it, that's all you. Order online. Bread, milk, oh, and fresh baked cookies. And pick it up curbside. Thank you! Or have it delivered straight to your door. Here's your Food City delivery. Oh, thanks. With Instacart or DoorDash. <laughs> Nobody does food like Food City. And now get it straight from our doors to yours. Value every day, Food City. The law is similar. Listen live on your favorite audio app. 107.7 WIVK. Counting it down to tip off here at the Little Caesars Arena in downtown Detroit in the Midwest Regional. As Purdue has already won, they uh, won earlier against Gonzaga. Very impressive performance, 80 to 68. The winner of the Tennessee Creighton game will face Purdue coming up here on Sunday. We'll set the lineup for first. Let's pause. 10 seconds for station identification. Produced by Learfield. This is the Vaughn Network. The flagship station for the Tennessee Volunteers. 107.7 WIVK-FM, Knoxville. A stimulus media station. WIVK. It's time now for the starting lineups brought to you by Hubana. First of all, for the third-seeded Creighton Blue Jays here in the Midwest Regional, coached by Greg McDermott, and this is 14th season, 325 wins and 159 losses as uh, he has just had an outstanding career at Creighton, second all-time winningest coach in Creighton history. They'll start Stephen Ashworth at a guard, a senior, 6'1", from Alpine, Utah, a transfer from Utah State. He was in the NCAA tournament last year with Utah State, averaging 11 points a game. Ryan Kalkbrenner, 7'1", 270, a senior, 
from Floristan, Missouri. He's averaging 17 points a game, 7.6 rebounds a game, but he also has 105 blocks on the year. And again, for the third time, he was the Defensive Player of the Year in the Big East. Mason Miller, 6'9", a sophomore from Germantown, Tennessee, a transfer from Houston, will be another starter tonight for the Creighton Blue Jays. He's averaging six points a game. Trey Alexander is a swing player, 6'4", junior from Oklahoma City. He's averaging 17.5 points a game. And Baylor Shireman, 6'7", 205 from Aurora, Nebraska, transfer from South Dakota State. He's averaging 18 points a game and nine rebounds per contest. Now for the Tennessee Volunteers, coached by Rick Barnes in this his ninth season at Tennessee. 201 wins, 99 losses. Jonas Adu in the middle, 6'11". He's a junior from Durham, North Carolina, averaging 12 points a game, 7 rebounds. Dalton Connect, player of the year in the SEC, All-American, 6'6". Fifth-year player from Thornton, Colorado, averaging 21 points a game. He averaged 25 points a game at SEC play. Zakai Ziegler, the SEC Defensive Player of the Year, 5'9". He's a junior from Long Island. He's averaging 11.7 points a game, and he also led the SEC in assists. A six per game. He has 204 on the season, only 76 turnovers. Jemai Meshack will start in place of the uh, ill Santiago Vescovi under the weather with the flu. Meshack making his seventh start of the year. 6'4", junior Fontana, California, averaging four points a game. And Josiah Jordan James, 6'7", fifth-year player from Charleston. He's averaging eight points a game, six and a half rebounds. Those are the starting liners presented by Humana, a proud partner of the balls, Humana, a more human way to health care. For 75 years, Farm Bureau Insurance has proudly served Tennesseans by helping them protect what matters most. UT Athletics and the Vol Network are thrilled to celebrate this milestone alongside them. It's a story of Tennesseans coming together to support each other. And that's what Farm Bureau Insurance is all about. Tennesseans helping Tennesseans. When it comes to insurance, choose the one that's proudly rooted in the volunteer state. Farm Bureau Insurance, Tennessee's insurance company, and the official insurance of the Vols. We hear about it every day. Americans are looking for ways to be cleaner and less wasteful, more environmentally responsible. They also want warmth, comfort, and style. Plenty of hot water. Reliable performance. Now more than ever, there's something special about natural gas. It's the one energy source that can make both your home and your conscience completely comfortable. Natural gas. Dave Miller for First Horizon. First Horizon UT Athletics, I think, have a number of shared beliefs, but at their core is a belief that people make the difference. Whether that is a student athlete and making sure they're successful on and off the field, or whether that is, in our case, our bankers who enjoy working together and serving our clients and strengthening the community. You win games, you win in business when you have people in a culture they believe in working towards a common goal. It's time to get a dose of Tennessee basketball and grab a dose of the refreshing lager that's perfect for celebrating one of college basketball's greatest fan traditions, the proud tradition of drinking beer. Dos Equis Golden Pilsner-style beer is perfect for celebrating with friends all over Big Orange Country. So this season, grab a dose of Tennessee basketball and Dos Equis, always available at Food City Center. Proud sponsor of Tennessee basketball. Enjoy Dos Equis responsibly. Imported by Cervezas Mexicanas, White Plains, New York. This is the Vol Network, and you're listening to Tennessee Basketball with Bob Kessling and Bert Bertelkamp. Introducing the starting lineups here to uh, the sellout crowd at Little Caesars Arena. Bert, though, a lot of those were Purdue fans. We'll see who they cheer for in this game. <laughs> yeah, yeah it would be interesting to see. Tennessee, of course, not starting Santiago Vescovi. He's second all-time in appearances in Tennessee history. John Fulkerson, 165, Vescovy, 148. And you know that uh, this is the first game that uh, any of the Tennessee starters have missed. So it's been a tremendous run of good health for Tennessee that comes to an end tonight. Yeah, that is. They have had a great year. The same starting five pretty much all season. And, and Santiago's been a big part of that. They'll miss him, but they got they got to step up. Jemai and, and Jordan Ganey got to step up and take up the slack. And you know that Vescovy wants, is dying to get in there, so... He, he, he's got the... He, well, we saw him in practice yesterday. He looked a little pale, didn't he? Yeah, he looked with he the did, flu. He didn't look good at all. He really didn't. Feel sorry for him. I do, too. Hopefully, if a Tennessee can advance, he'll be ready to go 
on Sunday. Tennessee comes back in uh, their cream throwback uniforms with balls across the front. Same uh, uniforms they wore in the St. Peter's win. So that started this trip to Charlotte in a good note. Maybe they'll do it tonight. Creighton comes out. The Blue Jays, as you might expect, in blue with white numerals. Tennessee in the home cream uniforms with orange numerals. The officials, Tony Batia, Joe Lindsay, and Matt Potter. Paul Brenner, the 7'1 center, and Jonas Adu, the 6'11 center for Tennessee, will jump it up. Key matchup in the game tonight, no sure. question. Tennessee will be going right to left. Wherever you're listening in Big Orange Country, the opening tap controlled by Tennessee. Ziegler gets it and he'll bring it up against Ashworth. Ziegler drives to the free throw line, gives to James. Left side, Mayshack at three-point range. Top of the key to Ziegler. Back to Mayshack. He's going to take a three, and he missed it. Rebound, Paul Brenner. He takes up a lot of space under that basket. Oh, he sure does. He's a big body. Ashworth in front court. Ashworth, guarded by Ziegler. Gets it over to Alexander, guarded by Meshack. Tennessee man to man. Alexander gets it over to Ashworth. Ashworth down low. Kalkbrenner's wide open and lays it up and in. Wow, that was pretty good execution by Creighton. They ran a back screen, and the big seven foot one center was wide open under the basket. Two nothing, Blue Jays. Sharman's guarding Connect. Face guarding him everywhere. Left side, Connect gets it. Out front, Ziegler. He's going to launch a long three, and he missed it, rattled out. Ball tapped around, still loose underneath. Alexander goes after it. Meshack gets down there. They finally tie it up, and on the alternate possession, it'll go to Creighton. Yeah, Meshack made that play. Creighton had the ball, but he knocked it away and jumped on it, created a jump. Tennessee advanced to the Elite Eight in 2010, the only time Tennessee has been to the Elite Eight. Creighton to bring it in. Still trying to get it in. Finally to Ashworth. Uh, Ziegler was right on him. It's another good matchup, Ziegler and Ashworth. Ashworth. Ashworth can really shoot. And he really handles the ball. Ashworth. He's got 144 assists, just 53 turnovers. Ashworth gets it left side. Back out front, Alexander. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Alexander, top of the key, into a double team. Give it to Shireman. He drives. Lost the ball. Threw it out of bounds. And tried to get it down low to Kalkbrenner and threw it out of bounds. He lost the handle and just tried to shovel it ahead, and the ball goes out of bounds. So Tennessee gets it on the turnover, and Tennessee trailing it 2 to nothing brings it up. Ziegler in front court. Blue Jays are man-to-man. But Kalkbrenner underneath, never going to stray too far from the basket. Connect, free throw line, pull up, jump shot on the way. Good. That's a good sign. Got to have connect on this game. Tennessee ties it up at two. Ashworth in front court, driving against Ziegler. Fires it back out front to Alexander. Alexander with Meshack on. He lost the ball. Meshack took it right away from him. Tennessee with the ball. Connect. Flies down the lane against Conkbrenner, who blocks his shot. But James gets the deflection. Tennessee sets it up, and now a whistle. And Padilla... The official comes over to the scores table and said that ball was deflected. But I don't know why they would have stopped playing. I don't know either. I guess they're going to check the the shot clock. I guess what he's saying is when the ball was deflected, it hit the rim. Oh, it hit the rim? I didn't think it did, but uh, that's what they're checking, I guess. And Padilla said it's all right. Apparently, it didn't hit the rim. And so there's 19 seconds on the shot clock. Tennessee has the ball side front court. Call Brecker show why he has 300-something blocks. You got that right. Ziegler top of the key. Back to James. James gives to connect. He's got Ashworth on him. Fires the ball left side. Ziegler. Ziegler. He drives against Kalkbrenner. Pulls it up and missed it. Kalkbrenner gets the rebound. The ball knocked away by Meshack, but it's recovered by Shireman. Now to Ashworth in front court. We're tied at two. Shireman, a three-point range. He's a deadly three-point shooter. Drives in against James. James holds his ground. Shireman, fall away jumper, no good, and Adu rebounds. Good defense by James. Really good. Cut him off on the baseline. Ziegler, free throw line, gives to Adu. 15-footer on the way, bounces off, no good. Ashworth, littlest guy on the floor, gets the rebound for the Blue Jays. Shireman drives baseline, shut off by Connect. Brings it back out. 2-0. 2-2, uh, two, two, excuse me. Hawk Brenner. 
Gets the ball. Alexander drives under the basket. Looks for somebody. Finally gets it out to Miller. Miller fires a three-pointer and hits. That's his game, shooting threes. Mason Miller, the three-pointer, runs 5-2. to two. His dad was Mike Miller, the deadly three-point shooter in the NBA. Played in Florida. He sure did. 5-2, to two, Creighton. Connect in the lane. Pulls up, fires. No, there's a foul. I think they got Shireman. Shireman. Yeah, he hit connect on the arm. Shireman picks it up. And so connect will go to the line to shoot two. Connect. Playing his 102nd game in his career. And he puts up the free throw and it rolls in. Soft touch. It rolled all the way around and dropped. He's been in double figures 29 games this year for Tennessee. Top score was 40 points against Kentucky. Sex, second free throw rolls off the rim. Rebounded by the Blue Jays. 5-3, to three, Creighton. Alexander in front court. Fires it cross court to Miller. In the corner, out front, Shireman. Works on James. Shireman drives, top of the key. Goes down the lane, puts up a little floater. Good. That's a tough shot. Yeah, it is. A floater going to his right, shooting with the left. Very difficult shot. 7-3, Creighton. Ziegler, top of the key. Gives to James. James on the left wing. Back out front, Ziegler. Ziegler gets a, a screen set by Aiden. Now Ziegler goes all the way through the lane. Back out front to Meshack. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Now to connect. Connect. Drives, top of the circle. Kicks it off Meshack. A long, long three-pointer is way long. Rebound, Ashworth. Creighton's got the ball and the lead, 7-3. Alexander out front. Drives on Meshack. Behind the back dribble. Free throw line. Has the ball knocked away. Adu slaps it away and steals it. Now to connect. He drives a Kalkbrenner. They strip the ball away from him. He gets it back. Now they throw it around the perimeter. James right wing, a three-pointer. is good. Money. James gets a three-pointer as Tennessee's Meshack had to chase that one down. It was knocked away and loose. But Tennessee saves possession and gets a three-pointer out of it. 15-20 to go. First half, 7-6 Creighton. Ashworth to Kalkbrenner. Kalkbrenner. Swings it back up front to Alexander. Alexander between the circles. 15 minutes to go in the first half. Alexander. Weaving his way against traffic. Can't get in. Swings it back up front. Shireman. Shot clock at two. At one. Shireman launches long range. Great Great ball out of bounds. Great defense by Tennessee. Out of bounds and it'll be Tennessee basketball. That'll take us to our first media break. It comes at 14.55 to go here in the first half. Creighton early leads Tennessee 7-6. Vols fans, customize your car wash experience today with the new Zips Car Wash mobile app. Download the app today and start earning points with every in-app purchase. And get access to app-exclusive offers that save you money. Zips Unlimited members can even earn points for monthly membership purchases. Plus, when you download the app today, your first car wash is on us. Available for iOS and Android. Zips has 20 locations across Knoxville to serve you. Zips Car Wash, proud sponsor of the Tennessee Volunteers. There's a lot of trash talk in basketball, but great teams let their performance do the talking. Like the Ford F-150 truck with smart tech that'll help win the day and leave the competition speechless. That's why F-150 is the best-selling full-size pickup in Tennessee. Greatness starts here. See your local Ford dealer, proud sponsor of the Vols. Based on S&P Global Mobility Total, U.S. new vehicle registrations for the standard full-size pickup segment RYTD April 2023. Some models, trims, and features may not be available or may be subject to change. Wisdom is knowing you can achieve more with a team than you can by yourself. That's as true in medicine as it is in basketball. And as the region's academic medical center and the official health care provider of the Vols, we recognize the power of leadership and teamwork to achieve the best results. That's what wisdom can do for you. The University of Tennessee Medical Center. Wisdom for your life. 
It's time to cheer on the Tennessee Volunteers with the smooth and refreshing taste of Twisted Tea Hard Iced Tea. Twisted Tea tastes like real iced tea because it's made with real brewed tea. Twisted Tea goes down smooth and at 5% alcohol, it's got the perfect kick to turn things up on game day. It's time to stock up for the season. Look for the bright yellow cans wherever you buy beer. Twisted Tea Hard Iced Tea. Keep it twisted. Please drink responsibly. Twisted Tea Brewing Company, Cincinnati, Ohio. You're listening to March Madness right here on the Vol Network. This broadcast of the NCAA Division I Men's Basketball Championship is authorized under broadcasting rights granted by the NCAA through Westwood One. It is intended solely for the private, non-commercial use of our audience. Any reproduction, retransmission, or other use of the broadcast without the express written consent of the NCAA at Westwood One is strictly prohibited. Bob Kessling, Burt Bertelkamp with you. 7-6, to six, Creighton leads early. Burt, any trends you see so far? Well, Tennessee's turned over Creighton four times, which is a good thing. We've got some pretty good looks at the basket. We're only shooting two for eight. But our defense, I think, is bothering them. We're coming off a shot clock violation, which is a turnover. So our defense, I think, is bothering them some. 7-6, Blue Jays lead it. Tennessee makes some changes. Awaka's into the game, and Ganey is in. Mayshack will take a seat. Connect stays in the game. Ziegler in front court for Tennessee. Looking to take the lead against the Blue Jays. Ziegler. Right in front of Greg McDermott, the Blue Jay coach. Out front it goes to James. You know, and Sharman's Garden Connect, if they can get another foul on Sharman. James has an open three, top of the key, and bangs that one home, too. Big shot. Tennessee takes the lead, 9-7. Good sign for James. Yeah, they're giving him that shot, it looks like, so far. Probably more for long. Miller. Swings it out, top of the key, goes to Alexander, guarded by Ganey. Shireman at the free throw line against James. He drives it, gets him in the lane, spins, fakes, goes up with the left hand and scores. He's tough. Yeah, he is. And scored 2,200 points for, for nothing. Tied at nine. Tennessee in front court. Ziegler on the dribble. 14 minutes to go in the half. Ganey goes down the lane. A floater is good. Jordan Ganey just came into the game and hit a floater down the lane. Tennessee leads 11-9. Yeah, that's good for his confidence, making that shot. Ashworth in front court for the Blue Jays. Out at the hash mark, gives it top of the key to Alexander. Ziegler's got Sharman underneath. See if they pick it up. Sharman pops out high, and Ziegler's got him there. Ziegler's going to bother him. Now Connect switches over to pick him up. Sharman still on the dribble. Seven seconds in the shot clock. Step back three is good. Boy, he shot that with confidence. We've got to get that second foul on him. Blue Jays back in front, 12-11. 13-27 to go first half. Ziegler in front court. Tennessee's got the floor spread. Now connect. They try to get the pass. The inbound is kicked out front. And it goes out of bounds. It'll still be Tennessee basketball. Now Ashworth kicked it, I think. Blue Jays 5 of 7 from the floor, Bert. 71%. Tennessee 4 out of 10. They just take good shots. Yeah, that's a good they? thing Tennessee's turned them over. They're shooting the oh, lights out so far. James on the right side. Top of the key. Ziegler, a wide open three. is good. Money. Ziegler from way out front. Bombs on a three. And Tennessee back in front, 14-12. Tennessee's got three threes. That's good. Ashworth in front court for the Blue Jays. Ashworth now hands to Alexander. Alexander calls out the play at midcourt, guarded by Ganey. Alexander still has it out front. Now he drives against Ganey. Takes him to the basket. Pull up five-footer is rattling out. No good. And the rebound goes to a walker. All cream shirts out of the basket getting that rebound. Tennessee a two-point lead. Ziegler's going to launch another three. That one's off the mark to the right. A walker tried to battle Kalkbrenner for the rebound, but it goes to Alexander, and Creighton has it in front court. Ashworth. Ziegler bothering him, makes the ball away, and he dives out of bounds at midcourt, trying to save it. Great what effort. an effort by Ziegler. Tremendous effort. He's going to bother Ashworth. Ashworth's coming out now. Wonder who? Francisco Furabello. Alexander will play point, I guess, now. Yeah. Yeah, Ashworth only played 41 minutes in that double overtime game against Oregon. Alexander gets the entry pass in backcourt. 12-25 to go first half. 14-12, Tennessee. 
Charman in the lane. He's got to get rid of it. Fires it back up front to Alexander. Just missed a three-second call. Alexander. Working on Ganey up front. Swings the pass to Shireman. Pulls up, fires a three. Off the mark, no good. Rebound goes to Ziegler. Tennessee's got the ball. Up by two. Connect in front court. Drops it off to Awaka. Awaka back to Ziegler. Ziegler drives. Gets to the baseline and throws it back out front to Ganey. Now to James. Drops it off down low. Awaka. Balls up against Kalkbrenner. Puts it up. No good. Rushed it a bit. Blue Jays have the ball down two. Yeah, Kalkbrenner changes shots. With that big body and those long arms. Curbello out front. Drives to the baseline. Shut off. Gets it to Kalkbrenner in the lane. And Ganey reaches in, slaps him, and fouls him. That's probably not a bad foul because he was going to be able to turn and score right in front of the rim. First foul on Ganey. That's only the second foul on Tennessee. Only three fouls have been called total through the first eight and a half minutes. 11.30 to go first half. Timeout with Tennessee leading Creighton 14-12. to 12. At First Horizon, we know convenience has never been more important to Vol fans. With mobile banking from First Horizon, your bank is as close as your mobile phone, and you'll find everything you need to take care of your financial life. Whether it's in the middle of a Tennessee game or while spending time with family, mobile banking has never been easier or more convenient. It's just another way First Horizon has your back. First Horizon, proud to be the official bank of the Vols. UT fans know it takes teamwork to win. And when you choose Blue Cross Blue Shield of Tennessee, you can get it all. Medical, dental, vision, and wellness from a mission-driven company that has been right here for over 75 years. So you get the simplicity of one card and the peace of mind of one team working together for your health wherever you go. Now that is a huge win. Blue Cross Blue Shield of Tennessee. As leaders in disaster cleanup and restoration, headquartered in Tennessee, pros at ServPro are prepared for anything. Whether it's fire damage, water damage, or cleaning up after a big win, you can count on ServPro to help make it like it never even happened. With more than 50 locations across Tennessee, they've got Vol Nation and their businesses covered. Call them at 1-800-SERVPRO, proud sponsor of the Tennessee Volunteers. ServPro, independently owned and operated. Fun is in full bloom, Tennessee, and the multiplier instant games are buzzing in. These colorful tickets offer chances to multiply your wins 10, 20, 50, and even 100 times. It's a beautiful day for bigger and bigger prizes, and they're ripe for the picking right now. Find the multiplier instant games today at your nearest Tennessee Lottery retailer, only from the Tennessee Lottery. Game-changing fun. Please play responsibly. You're listening to March Madness, fall network coverage of the Tennessee Volunteers in the NCAA Basketball Tournament with Bob Kessling and Burt Bertelkamp. Hey, join us Monday nights at Calhoun's on the River for Vol Calls. We'll talk Tennessee basketball. Coach Rick Barnes, Kelly Harper, and the other spring coaches at Tennessee. Vol Calls, the weekly radio call-in show for the Tennessee Volunteers and Lady Vols. Monday nights, 8 o'clock Eastern, 7 o'clock Central Time on the Vol Network. Tennessee leads Creighton 14 to 12 with 11:30 here to go in the first half. Bert, the one stat that jumps out at me as I look at the stat sheet: points off turnovers. Tennessee eight, Creighton nothing. Yeah, that's big. Tennessee's defense has bothered them. They forced them into a shot clock violation in several rushes right at the end of the shot clock. So their defense has definitely bothered them. They haven't been able to get the ball into Calcrenner except on the first possession. He got it in a minute ago, and he kicked it back out. So they haven't been able to get it in, inside in the paint. It'll be Creighton basketball after the foul on Ganey. And, uh, Bert, you always wonder about how they're going to referee's going to call this. They haven't blown the whistle very much. No, they're letting them play. Meshack came in. He's going to guard Shireman. I think James is out. Luce's trying to get it in bounds. Nobody open. They get it to Alexander. Turns, fires, short. And the rebound to Ganey. Ganey will bring it up himself. Tennessee still leads 14-12. Ganey, free throw line, jump shot on the way. Good. Ganey's hot. Boys playing with the confidence. And Tennessee leads 16-12. Alexander in front court for Creighton. Blue Jays down by four with the ball. Sherman dumps it down low. Call 
Brenner. He's working against J.P. Estrella, the freshman. Chalk Brenner banging him down low. Estrella holds his ground. Chalk Brenner makes another move, spins, goes to the basket and slams it. He spun baseline. That's a veteran on a freshman. He just kept working until he got open. 16-14. Tennessee by two. Here's Connect pulling up. Shot is short. I, don't, I guess he didn't know if he was going to shoot it straight in or bank it and didn't do either. Here's Alexander out front for Creighton. Gives it to Shireman. Shireman on the dribble across the lane. Shireman goes to the basket. A little floater on the baseline. No good. Connect rebounds. Tennessee's got the ball up by two. Ten and a half minutes to go in the first half. Connect. Drops it out to Meshack. Back to Connect. He's going to put up a three. It's good. It won't count. As they're going to call Meshack for an illegal screen. And Meshack picks up the foul. So that wipes off three points for Tennessee. Meshack just looked like he ran into him. Yeah. Overzealous pick. Yep. Jason Green has now come in for the Blue Jays. 6'8", Richard Freshman from Omaha. Alexander running the team at the point as he brings it up against Ganey. Alexander, top of the key. Still on the dribble. Trying to set a play. Tennessee overplaying everything. Paul Brenner comes out to get the pass. Now gives it back to Alexander. Top of the circle with nine seconds on the shot clock. Alexander just can't get around Ganey. Takes it to the corner. Turns and fires a long shot. Great missed defense. Everything. Great defense. Alexander just dribbled and couldn't find a shot. Missed everything. Connect gets the rebound. He'll pull up from 17. That's good. Money. Connect hits. He's got five and Tennessee leads by four. Tennessee's defense really affecting Creighton. Yeah, it really is. Shireman turns and fires a three. Missed That's it. way off the mark. Rebound batted out of bounds by Green of Creighton going for the rebound. And Tennessee's got the ball. Blue Jays are kind of hanging their heads a little bit. They're having a hard time running the offense. They really are. Their offense is not going anywhere. It's taking them forever to get into it. Tennessee's forced them way out almost to the half line. Estrella came out. He gave Tennessee a couple of good minutes. Great now just one for its last seven. Tennessee's got the ball leading 18-14, 9.27 to go. First half, Ziegler across the line. Ashworth back into the game, picks him up. Top of the key to Mayshack. Mayshack back to Connect. Connect drives, pulls up on Kalkbrenner, fires. It's going to be no good. Adu gets the rebound. Out to Ziegler, back to Connect. His three is no good this time. Long rebound, battled for Ganey. Tries to save it, did he? I think he did. He banged it off Carabello in the deep corner. And it's still going to be Tennessee ball. What hustle by Ganey. Great effort. Put 20 seconds back on the shot clock. 9.07 on the game clock. Tennessee leads 18-14. Ganey to bring it in from the deep corner. Throws it out to Adu. Now gives to Ziegler. Ziegler. Drive, splits a double team, pulls up, free throw line, floater, rattles, no good. And the rebound taken out of there by Green of Creighton. Blue Jays have it coming to front court. As Farabello gets the ball to Shireman, top of the key, working on Meshack. Drives into the basket, and his shot's blocked from behind by Connect going for the layup. Connect coming over to help out and swatted that ball into the Tennessee band as he came from behind helping out. Great play by Connect. And yeah, he read that perfectly. 16 seconds to go. They throw it down low. And they get to uh, the big center as Kalkbrenner gets it. And missed it right in front of the rim. And then Tennessee can't corral the rebound. And it goes out of bounds. It'll be Creighton ball. Tennessee's the more physical team for sure so far. Kalkbrenner was right in front of the rim and just missed that shot. Doesn't happen often. They get it to Kalkbrenner. And he there's a whistle and a foul on James as he ran over Ashworth who had set a pick. So James picks up the foul. Creighton has missed its last five. They're just one for their last nine from the floor. Ashwood took a shot from James. And I don't know if they're going to go yeah, they're they're gonna look gonna, at the monitor. Yeah, they're going to look at it. Let's see if that's an excessive foul. Ashworth sold the ref on looking at yeah, it. He, he wasn't did. going to. I didn't see it. I, didn't, yeah, it was I right. saw the collision, yeah. but I didn't see him hitting him in the face. No, I didn't say that either. But we'll see what the officials say as they go check it on the monitor. Hey, fans, it's Sirius XM. You get it all and all at the press of a button. 
Listen to your kind of music, commercial free, plus everything entertainment, every kind of comedy, and of course, coverage of every major sport, including the Tennessee Volunteers. So tune in to the best of the best. So a couple of notes here about, uh, well, let's see. They just, I think they're just saying it's play on. Common foul is what they're saying. A couple of notes in the NCAA tournament for Tennessee. Jernell Stokes leads with 18 rebounds the most. Ernie Grenfeld still holds the lead for most points in an NCAA tournament game with 36. And Wayne Chisholm in 11 games out of 136 points. That's the most for Tennessee. Just a couple of notes there. 18-14, Tennessee leads with 8.40 to go in the first half. Inbounds, Farabello from the corner. His three missed everything. Air ball. Rebound goes to Ziegler. Shot it way over the basket. Ziegler, top of the circle, stops. Brings it back out. Tennessee up by four with eight and a half minutes to go. First half, Meshack, right wing. Top of the key, Adu. Now to James. James back to Ganey, top of the key. Now to Meshack. Meshack drives down the lane, gives it to Adu. Baseline jump shot, short. Tap out, goes to Kalkbrenner. Tennessee tried to tap it out, and the big seven-footer got in front of that tap. And Blue Jays have the ball. Ashworth, top of the circle, goes behind the back. Has a three, but didn't take it. Swings it to Green. Now back to Ashworth. adu has got Ashworth. There's a mismatch somewhere. mayshack has got Kalkbrenner down low. And they can't get in the ball. Mayshack doing a great job. Here's the drive. And into traffic. Shireman is going to be fouled. And I think they're going to get Mayshack again. We'll sort it out at the break here. 7.48 and the timeout is going to be asked for the media break. With Tennessee leading the Creighton Blue Jays, 18-14. Food, it's our thing. But how you shop for it, that's all you. Order online. Bread, milk, oh, and fresh baked cookies. And pick it up curbside. Thank you! Or have it delivered straight to your door. Here's our food city delivery. Oh, thanks. With Instacart or DoorDash. Nobody does food like Food City. And now get it straight from our doors to yours. There's a lot of trash talk in basketball, but great teams let their performance do the talking. Like the Ford F-150 truck with smart tech that'll help win the day and leave the competition speechless. That's why F-150 is the best-selling full-size pickup in Tennessee. Greatness starts here. See your local Ford dealer, proud sponsor of the Vols. Based on S&P Global Mobility Total, U.S. new vehicle registrations for the standard full-size pickup segment RYTD April 2023. Some models, trims, and features may not be available or may be subject to change. The diehard batteries you know and trust are now at Advance Auto Parts. That means all the reliability, durability, and power you expect now come with free testing, free installation, and the unrivaled expertise of Advance team members. And you don't even need an appointment. When it's time to hit the road, stop by Advance Auto Parts to start strong with a diehard battery. Advance your auto at Advance Auto Parts and participate in CarQuest locations. See store for details. Think back to 30 years ago. There was no email, no Facebook, no Twitter, and no recycling. Thankfully, things change. The first and largest on-campus recycling effort belongs to the University of Tennessee. Celebrating 30 amazing years. Eastman Waste Connections, UT Sustainability, and Food City. Thanks for creating an evolution. This is the Vol Network, and you're tuned in to the NCAA Basketball Tournament. Tennessee leads Creighton 18-14. We have 7.48 to go here in the first half. Creighton hit three of its first five shots, but since then they are three for 12 for it, and Tennessee's defense has been terrific. It's been outstanding. It's really frustrated Creighton. Sharman's gone one-on-one -on -one a couple times and had some success, but Alexander hadn't scored. Called Brenner's just got a couple of buckets. They haven't been able to get in the paint at all, and they haven't been able to get any dribble penetration. Ashworth's been kept, he hasn't even gotten a shot off. They've kept him way outside, almost to the half court. So Tennessee's defense is doing exactly what they wanted to do at this point. But Meshack just picked up his second foul. That might change things. That will change things because he's the main man. He was the one guarding Shireman. James was James will probably come back in or Ganey. Ganey's off to a good start offensively. And he's 
Creighton doing a good job defensively so far as well. Well, we talk about Creighton, the fact they don't foul. In the first 12 minutes of this game, they have one foul. Yeah, uh, they just don't foul you. But their size down low really affects their position. Yeah. They get in good position and make, they make you shoot over them. But we're getting good shots. 7.48 to go. And Creighton will shoot free throws. Creighton hasn't shot one yet in the game. Shireman at the line shoots and hits. He's an 87% free throw shooter. How many makes do they get a game? Uh, free throws. They make 11.6. So they don't shoot many either. Next one is bouncing in for Sherman. He's got nine. Two-point game. Tennessee 18, Creighton 16. Ziegler across the line. Blue Jay State man-to-man. And then Kalkbrenner just patrolling the basket area in the lane. Never leaves that area very much. Ziegler, free throw line. Challenges the big guy. Flips it up and in down the lane. We saw him make that shot a bunch of times yesterday in practice. He's really good at it. Just flipped it up. Got it over Kalkbrenner down the lane. Little floater. Tennessee by four again, 20 to 16. Ziegler won't let Ashworth catch the ball. Alexander gets it over to Farabello. Farabello. Swings it to Alexander in front of the Tennessee bench. He dribbles top of the key. Lob pass. Buck Renner, he slams it home. Good execution right there. Set play. And it's 20 to 18 now. Tennessee by two. 6.56 to go. First half, Ziegler on the dribble. Sherman's face guard and connect everywhere. Ziegler. A little drop pass goes to Adu. Hits a 10-footer. Good. Yeah, and Colt Renner doesn't like to come out on the floor. Jonas is going to have that short jumper all night long. 22-18 as Adu hits his first basket. Tennessee up by four. Pass goes to Ashworth. Ziegler knocked it out, of, uh, knocked it away and couldn't save it. Slung the pass back in bounds trying to save it. Hit Ashworth right in the chest. Knocked the wind out of him, it looked like. Close range, he fired that pass. But it's out of bounds of the Stoping Blue Jay ball. Alexander goes high to get the pass. 6.29 to go. First half. Alexander. Adu switches out on him. Shireman top of the key. Thought about a long three against James. Doesn't take it. Now he throws cross court Alexander. Alexander step back. A three is bouncing. No good. Rebound Adu. One and done for the Blue Jays. Yeah, Tennessee's cleaning the defensive glass. Ziegler gets it in front court to James. James lobs it to Adu. Goes against Kalkbrenner. Left hand hook shot. No good. Miller comes flying in to get the rebound for the Blue Jays. Stays 22-18, Tennessee. Ashworth has the ball back-tapped. Ziegler back-tapped it, and it goes out of bounds into the Tennessee cheerleaders. Yeah, and Ziegler's giving Ashworth fits. Yeah. He's, he's wearing him out. 5.54 to go first half. Blue Jays will bring it in down four. They lob the pass in the lane to Alexander. Gets back to Shireman. Shireman drives, can't get a shot. Adu came over and helped out. Back to Shireman. Now he's going to launch a three out front. That's good. He's a player. He's a big-time player. Third-team All-American. One-point game now. 22-21, Tennessee. Here's Connect going to the basket. Lays it up and in. Went right at the big guy. But well, that was sweet. Brenner couldn't block his shot. Connect gets his seventh point. 24-21, Tennessee by three. Now connects on Shireman. That's a tough matchup for him. Shireman drives. Flips it across court. Has the pass with to Miller. Miller gives it back out front to Alexander. Alexander drives against Ganey. Goes to the basket. Lays it up and in and he's fouled. Strong drive by Trey Alexander. He got Ganey on his hip. Took him to the basket, and Ganey picks up his second foul. Yeah, Alexander's probably their best athlete, certainly their best penetrator. That time he got all the way to the rim. So Alexander will go to the line. He's also an excellent free throw shooter, 81% free throw shooter. Leads this team in assists. He's got 159 assists on the season. They really share the basketball. This to tie the game on the way. Good. Three-point play by Alexander ties us up at 24-all. DeLeon comes in for Ganey. Yeah, Freddie DeLeon's going to get a chance to play. Ganey got two fouls. He does. He's got two. Mayshack has two. And if you're joining us, Santiago Vesky not playing tonight. 
connect in the lane. Fakes. Has the ball stripped away. It's loose underneath. Out of bounds. And they say that Charman knocked it out. He was battling Dillion for it. And it's off Creighton. And Tennessee will get it back with 17 seconds on the shot clock. 4.54 left to go on the game clock. First half. Ziegler will throw it in. Looks. Looks. Gets to Adu. He's got that 10-footer again and hits it again. Money. Adu, his second short jump shot, gives Tennessee the lead, 26-24. Yeah, Cogbrenner's giving him that shot. Jonas can make that all day. Ashworth, the Shireman, back cross court Ashworth. He's got an open three on the way. Good. He's a shooter. 34% three-point shooter. And the Blue Jays have taken the lead back from Tennessee, 27-26. They hit open shots now. Creighton has one foul in this first half. Connect, free throw line, drives against Kalkbrenner. Puts it off the glass, no good. Tip, no good. Shireman gets the rebound. The Blue Jays want to run. Shireman gets up to Alexander. Transition Short. three is no good. And Tennessee runs the other way. James gets to DeLeon. DeLeon kicks it out. Connect, he's got an open three, and he nails it. Money. Good pass by DeLeon. Connect. That's 10, and Tennessee has the lead back. 29-27. Tempo picking up some. Ashworth, top of the key. Ashworth can't get a shot off. Gives it to Kalkbrenner way at the top of the key. Now to Alexander. Billy Owen bumps into him and fouls him. He found him three times. They finally called it. Take us to the under four break. Timeout in Detroit. 3.41 to go in this first half. Back and forth action now. Tennessee has the lead over Creighton. 29-27. Back in a moment. This is Tennessee Basketball on the Vol Network. You already know that Miller Brothers Auto Repair offers services from transmissions and engines to oil change and routine maintenance. What you may not know is Miller Brothers Collision Center can handle all your collision repair needs. Our certified technicians will make your damaged car look brand new. We accept all insurance. If you bend it, we can mend it. Miller Brothers is located on Taswell Pike right here in Knoxville, and we're proud supporters of the Tennessee Vols. Call us at 689-5072. That's 689-5072. Sun up on a cool, sweet morning. Sausage frying in the pan. Make that sausage always Wamplers. It's the finest in the land. Wamplers, Wamplers, it's great sausage made on the farm in Tennessee. Don't say sausage, just say Wamplers for the best in quality. Make that sausage always Wamplers. It's the best in quality. Hey, it's Tennessee. It's Chad at Rusty Wallace Honda. It's March, so let the madness begin. You won't get your bracket busted when you score one of these. A 2024 Accord Hybrid Sport or a 2024 front-wheel drive CRV Hybrid Sport. Your choice, only $3.59 a month. Or get a game changer, like a 2024 Pilot EXL, only $4.39 a month. It's loaded with leather and all-wheel drive. So don't miss your shot at the best Honda lineup in the entire area. The intersection of selection, Rusty Wallace Honda, I-75 at Callahan Drive. See dealer for details. Hey, everybody, this is Kenny Chesney, your station for the Vols, WIVK. In this basketball season, enjoy and celebrate with the beverages that support University of Tennessee Athletics. Lighting Chris Truly Hard Seltzer, Coors Light, it's made to chill. Twisted Tea, the original hard iced tea. Ice cold Dos Secchi Cervezas, available at Food City Center. Remember to celebrate responsibly. 21 means 21. Bob Kessling and Burke Burlow Camp with you with 3.41 to go in this first half. Bert, uh, Creighton has lived up to its billing. They don't foul. They've got one foul so far in this first half. Tennessee has six fouls. And with Santiago Vescovi out tonight because of illness, and now you look, you've got uh, two fouls on Ganey, two fouls on Mayshack. That's making things a little tight. So Tennessee has gone into the bench now with Freddie Dillion. Yeah, Dillion's done well so far. But you're right, it affects the rotation quite a bit. Tennessee shooting 12 of 27 from the floor, 44%. The Blue Jays, 10 of 23, 43%. And uh, Tennessee's got the lead back because they've hit five of the last seven shots. Yeah, and Connect's getting loosened up and going a little bit now. Connect's got ten. Tennessee's defense has been really good. Well, and the one thing about it, too, that Creighton apparently 
is going to let James and Adu shoot. Yeah, they if are. They're open. They're going to concentrate on connect, but they're going to let those two guys shoot. And James has hurt them with two three pointers, and Adu has two ten footers. Yep. Kalkbrenner's going to stay in the paint. Yeah, he's not going to come out. Well, it was just loaded. Zakai Ziegler got popped in the nose. He's got a big wad of cotton in his uh, left nostril. That's not going to knock him out of the game. That'll just make him play hard. Yeah, probably. Make him mad. Make him pop somebody on their team. 341 to go. First half. 29-27. And Creighton has the ball. Tennessee leads. Alexander goes way in the backcourt to get the pass. Dillion will pick him up. Now to Ashworth. Ashworth with Ziegler on him. Pass goes to Alexander on the right side. Top of the key. Shireman gets it. He's double teamed. Looking now low for Kalkbrenner. Catches it on a walk of fouls here. A walk was all over him. So that's one and one. That'll send Kalkbrenner to the line. He's a 71% free throw shooter. He shot 146 so far this year. He set a school record. He's already scored 140 points in NCAA tournament action for the Blue Jays coming into the game, but he misses the front end of the one-and-one one in connect rebounds. 29-27, Tennessee. 3.20 to go first half. Connect. Top of the circle. Pulls up. Free throw line jump shot. That's off to the right. Rebound by Sharman. Yep. Sharman gets the rebound for the Blue Jays. He'll dribble it up against James. Sharman. A walk and knock Cole Brenner down, it looks like. Alexander, top of the circle, working on James. Can't get in, gives to Ashworth. He'll launch a long three, and he hits. Wow. Can't leave him open. That was a bomb. That was way out by the hash mark. And the Blue Jays back in front, 30-29. to 29. Ashworth hit two three-pointers. Now there's a foul. Alexander. Alexander fouls Ziegler, and the Tennessee fans cheer. Only the second foul on the Blue Jays this half. Now we have 245 remaining. Farabello comes back in and Miller sits down for Creighton. Blue Jays lead by one, 30-29. And Dalton Connect will throw it inside front court. Tennessee trailing by one. Connect gets it to Ziegler. Ziegler to Dillion on a weave out front. Dillion squares the floor, fires it left wing to Ziegler. Ziegler drives, free throw line, pull up, drops it off Awaka. Awaka spins, fall away 10 footer, is bouncing short. Kalk Brenner. That's not his shot. Nope, gets He's the rebound. He's got to go to the rim. Yep. Should take it right at Kalk Brenner. Pass in the corner. Shireman's three is good. I'll tell you what, it doesn't take him but a split second to catch that ball and let it fly. And Rick Barnes now calls a timeout. He's put Cam Carr in the game now, probably for DeLeon. 33-29. Creighton has built up a four-point lead with timeout and 2.20 to go in the first half. For me, college wasn't a given. The concern of cost kept me from considering four-year schools until I heard about UT Promise, a scholarship covering tuition and mandatory fees for qualifying students with a household income below $75,000 a year. Skeptical but hopeful, I applied to two University of Tennessee system schools and was accepted to both. As a person with limited financial resources, choices are rare. The freedom of choice is powerful, and UT Promise gave that to me. Explore your choices at Tennessee.edu. Vols fans, customize your car wash experience today with the new Zips Car Wash mobile app. Download the app today and start earning points with every in-app purchase. And get access to app-exclusive offers that save you money. Zips Unlimited members can even earn points for monthly membership purchases. Plus, when you download the app today, your first car wash is on us. Available for iOS and Android. Zips has 20 locations across Knoxville to serve you. Zips Car Wash, proud sponsor of the Tennessee Volunteers. The University of Tennessee Medical Center. You know us as the official health care provider of the Vols and as the region's academic medical center. But did you know that you and your family can be connected to the same great care at locations throughout East Tennessee? It's how UT Medical Center brings wisdom to your life and where you live. Visit wisdomnearme.com to find a location near you. 
For 75 years, Farm Bureau Insurance has proudly served Tennesseans by helping them protect what matters most. UT Athletics and the Vol Network are thrilled to celebrate this milestone alongside them. It's a story of Tennesseans coming together to support each other, and that's what Farm Bureau Insurance is all about. Tennesseans helping Tennesseans. When it comes to insurance, choose the one that's proudly rooted in the volunteer state. Farm Bureau Insurance, Tennessee's insurance company, and the official insurance of the Vols. You're listening to Fall Network coverage of the Tennessee Volunteers in the NCAA Basketball Tournament with Bob Kessling and Burt Bertelkamp. Tennessee Athletics invites younger balls to Kids Day Out. This new program will provide exclusive year-round access to select UT games and sporting events. To learn more about Kids Day Out, visit utsports.com. Presented by the Knoxville Orthopedic Clinic, proudly serving the University of Tennessee Athletics Department since 1949. Creighton has jumped out to a 33-29 advantage. They uh, averaged about 11 three-pointers a game. They got six in the first half, Bert. And they've taken advantage of some inexperience on the Tennessee team with DeLeon. And now they're going to try Cameron Carr. Again, Vescovy is out. Ganey's on the bench with two. And Mayshack's on the bench with two. This changes Tennessee's whole defensive scheme. It certainly does. Creighton six for 12 from the three-point line. That was a breakdown right there. you letting Charman open. Tennessee brings it up. Cameron Carr is into the game. Carr, he's talented, but he's inexperienced. Adu at the free throw line has got an open look. That one rattles around and is dropping out and away from the ball. There's going to be a foul call, a box out foul underneath that's going to be on Farabello. That's only the third foul on the Blue Chase. Tennessee to bring it in. They get it down low. Adu against Kalkbrenner. Goes over the left hand and missed it. Kalkbrenner made him change the shot. Creighton rebounds it. Ashworth in front court. Kalkbrenner changes the game, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. Ashworth turns and fires a three. That's bouncing no good. Adu, good box out. That's a prime example. Kalkbrenner didn't even go after it. He was boxed out, so he kn- he's not going to foul. Ziegler in front court. Gives to connect. Free throw line. Comes off a pick. Connect. Drives down. Kicks it off in the corner. Cameron Carr's three is good. Well, he filled it up yesterday in practice. Cameron Carr hits a big three-pointer from the corner. That's huge. 33-32. That's only the fifth three-pointer this year for Cameron Carr. This is just the 14th game he's played in. 90 seconds to go in the first half. Alexander gets it to Farabella. Now left side Ashworth. Ziegler's now on him. There's a cut down low. They kick it back out. Ashworth fakes. Can't get a shot off. Farabello. He fakes against Connect. Goes to the basket. Puts an eye off the glass. No good. Carr rebounds. Tennessee down by one with the ball with one minute to go in the first half. Ziegler in front court. Drives against Alexander. Gets around him and Alexander fouls him. Ziegler's too quick for Alexander on the perimeter. That'll be the fourth foul on Creighton. What a big shot by Cameron Carr. (laughs) Huge. He's not bashful. No, he's not. He only has 20 points all year, and he's got three points tonight in this NCAA tournament game when Tennessee really needed it. 102 to go. Tennessee will have the ball trailing 33-32. Ziegler will throw it in. Connects at the top of the key. Connect trying to fight through screens. They get it to Adu. Adu from 15 feet doesn't take the shot. Gives to Ziegler. Ziegler floats it down the lane. Good. That's money all day. That little push shot down the lane. He's got seven. And Tennessee back in front, 34-33. He loves that shot. Ashworth <laughs> being guarded by Ziegler out front. Left side. They, they get it to Shireman. Down low, Kalkbrenner. He slams it. Good pass. Tremendous pass by Shireman. Blue Jays back in front, 35-34. They run half-court offense really well. And they're always trying to get it to Kalkbrenner. 27 seconds to go in the half. 20 on the shot clock. Tennessee down by one. And Ziegler's dribbling out by midcourt. 14 seconds on the shot clock. Ziegler still dribbles. Now down to 10. Ziegler's going to take him. Ziegler working on Ashworth. Gets a pick. He drives. Another little floater. This one bounces no good. Rebound Farabello. Four seconds. Carabello going to launch and a three-pointer, no good. Green tried to got it on the short shot and tried to kick it off the glass, but he missed the shot, and that's the end of the half. And there's going to be a discussion 
as Greg McDermott is coming out and talking to Matt Potter, the official. And apparently, they didn't like that last transaction. And Ashworth thought he got fouled, and McDermott still pleading his case. But both teams have headed to the locker room. Spirited first half. And Creighton has a one-point lead in this, the Sweet 16, with the winner advancing to take on Purdue in the Elite Eight. Now, Rick Barnes is coming out to voice his opinion on that last play. Yeah, both coaches think their guy got fouled. But and Ziegler and Nashworth got yeah. in a little scrum there. Coach Barnes now is heading toward the locker room, and that's where it'll stand as we go to the second half. But a very good first half of action here in this Sweet 16. At halftime in Detroit, our score is Creighton 35, Tennessee 34. Scores and stats next. This is Tennessee basketball on the Vaughn Network. It's basketball time in Tennessee. Union Place Bar and Grill off Chambliss Avenue in Bearden is the only place to be. 24 TVs, including a 160-inch video wall in the dining room, a game room with billiards, shuffleboard, darts, golden tee, buck hunter, and video poker, and a huge outdoor courtyard perfect for tailgating with beautiful scenery, a covered area, and live music every weekend. You can't lose, unless you don't show up. Union Place Bar and Grill off Chambliss Avenue. Follow them on Facebook for daily specials. Union Place Bar and Grill. This must be the place. There are trucks, then there's the truck, GMC Sierra, with available features like the V8 engine, the ultimate luxury interior, and of course, the available world's first six-function multi-pro tailgate, GMC Sierra, not just any truck, the truck. GMC's continued commitment to professional-grade engineering is on full display at your East Tennessee GMC dealer. Come take a test drive today and see for yourself. We are professional-grade GMC. Spring savings are here. Now till April 2nd, you can get up to $80 via reward card or virtual prepaid card after online submission on the purchase of four or more new Michelin passenger or light truck tires totaling $900 or more. Tire purchases totaling $899.99 or less get $60. Celebrate spring with Fleet Tire's big savings offer on Michelin tires. The experts at Fleet Tire on East Woodland Avenue always have the right Michelin tire for whatever you drive. See michelinman.com slash auto slash deals, promotions, and rebates for complete details. Offer expires 4 24 Void where prohibited. 107.7 WIVK Halftime in Detroit at the Midwest Regional of the NCAA Tournament and the Creighton Blue Jays lead Tennessee by one 35-34 Bob Kessling, Bert Bertelkamp back with you here at halftime as uh, Tennessee had a seesaw battle uh, in this contest as the lead changed hands eight times the score was tied three times in the first half. Creighton led for six minutes and 49 seconds. Tennessee, 10 minutes and 43 seconds. One of the key stats that uh, Tennessee was able to get the lead early in the game, they have eight points off the Creighton turnovers, and the Blue Jays haven't scored yet on a Tennessee turnover. But, uh, Bert, I think with the fact Santiago Vescovi was out, Jordan Ganey picked up two fouls, and Meshack picked up two. That really threw Tennessee off defensively. Yeah, that changed the game. When Meshack was in there, they were really struggling to run their offense. And when he went out, Ganey came in and made a couple buckets, but their, our defense wasn't nearly as effective. Ziegler bothered Ashworth quite a bit, and they, and they kept the ball away from Kalkbrenner, except for a couple of lobs. He was four for five. But uh, Creighton's defense has been equally as good against Tennessee. They really, really make Knack work hard. He, he's four for ten. He's made a couple, made a couple tough shots, but they've made him work for him. And Ziegler's, Ziegler's carried the load as well. He's three for eight with seven points. But you know, Creighton made four early turnovers, and that's all they made. Yeah. Tennessee only turned it over twice, which is good. It's a high quality game. Well, we mentioned the fact in the pregame also that. Uh, Creighton doesn't send you to the line very much. Tennessee one for two in the first half at the free throw strike. Yeah, and Creighton's just three for four. It was a pretty physical game. They called a few fouls. Tennessee, I mean, Creighton finally got in the one and one late, but they, they play smart. If they if they don't reach, they play position defense. Tennessee's got to make shots. They're giving they're giving James the shot. And they're well, they're giving us the three pointer except for Connect, pretty much. Yeah, they are. Uh, leading score for Tennessee in the first half, Dalton Connect, ten points. And leading scorer for the Blue Jays, Baylor Shireman, he has 15. So, good game, first 20 minutes. 20 minutes now remaining for a trip to the Elite Eight between these two teams to take on Purdue as the Boilermakers won earlier here against Gonzaga with a very strong second-half performance. They won that game 80-68. to 
At halftime in this one, Creighton leads Tennessee 35-34. Listening to college basketball's most complete network coverage, University of Tennessee Basketball on the Vol Network, with network host John Wilkerson and featuring Bert Bertelkamp and Bob Kessling. Sponsored by Ford. Visit your local Ford dealer. Proud sponsor of the Tennessee Volunteers. By the one bank that's backed the Big Orange for 30 years. First Horizon, the official bank of the Vols. By Axel Logistics. Build your empire. By Blue Cross Blue Shield of Tennessee. Complete coverage for every phase of life. By the natural gas utilities and pipeline companies in Tennessee. Natural gas. By ServPro, the number one choice in cleanup and restoration across Big Orange Country. And by Twisted Tea, the original hard iced tea with a twist of lemon. Keep it twisted, Tennessee. Distributed across Tennessee by Cherokee Distributing. Back in 30 seconds. Tennessee basketball is brought to you by the Rusty Wallace family of dealerships. Hyundai, Kia, Nissan, Ford, Honda, Chevrolet, and Toyota. Enrichment Federal Credit Union. Your volunteer Buick GMC dealers. Visit My Smokies. Swaggerty's Farm Sausage. Union Place Bar and Grill. The Tennessee Highway Safety Office. East Tennessee Children's Hospital. Lazy Days RV and professional jewelers. As Bob mentioned, a first half which featured eight lead changes and at halftime in Detroit, Creighton leads Tennessee 35-34. Back at the Big Orange scoreboard, I'm Bobby Ryder. The winner of tonight's game will take on Purdue in the Midwest Regional Championship Sunday afternoon. Now the game will tip at either 2.20 or around 4.45 Eastern. Official start times will be announced soon after the conclusion of tonight's games. Pending a Tennessee win tonight, Vol Network coverage will begin approximately 30 minutes before game time at Little Caesars Arena. At the half of the arena tonight, it's Creighton 35, Tennessee 34. Before we go any further, let's take 10 seconds for station identification. That's 10 seconds for station ID. From Learfield, this is the Vol Network. Your station for the balls. Radio now. 107.7 WIVK FM, Knoxville. A stimulus media station. WIVK. There's a lot of trash talk in basketball, but great teams let their performance do the talking. Like the Ford F-150 truck with smart tech that'll help win the day and leave the competition speechless. That's why F-150 is the best-selling full-size pickup in Tennessee. Greatness starts here. See your local Ford dealer, proud sponsor of the Vols. Based on S&P Global Mobility Total, U.S. new vehicle registrations for the standard full-size pickup segment RYTD April 2023. Some models, trims, and features may not be available or may be subject to change. Just like a crucial call in a big game, the choices we make today will impact tomorrow. Choosing natural gas is the responsible energy choice for your home, your family, for our environment. Natural gas is the cleaner energy choice for Tennesseans, for today and tomorrow. Comfort, dependability, responsibility. Natural gas. This responsible gaming message is brought to you by the Tennessee Lottery. When you play the lottery, it's important to play responsibly. Know your limit and spend only what you can afford. Set a budget and stick to it. And remember, as long as you're having fun, you're always a winner in our book. The Tennessee Lottery is a proud supporter of National Problem Gambling Awareness Month. To learn more about problem gambling resources, visit tnlottery.com. The passion, the tradition, the rivalries. SEC basketball is back on Sirius XM. We've got 24-7 talk and analysis on Sirius XM SEC radio from hosts like me, Chris Childers, Peter Burns, Pat Bradley, and more, as well as live play-by-play. -play. Listen to your favorite team live for $4 per month as long as you're a student. Subscribe now at SiriusXM.com slash SEC Hoops. It's time now to join Farm Bureau Insurance for a drive around the SEC. We're all growing something, and your Farm Bureau agent is there to help you protect it. Farm Bureau Insurance, Tennessee's insurance company, and the official insurance of the Vols. 
Only three SEC teams remain alive in the postseason. That includes, obviously, Tennessee, trailing Creighton at the half 35-34 as the Volunteers looking for their second trip to the Elite Eight, the last one in 2010. Alabama last night in Los Angeles, 89-87 over North Carolina. And Alabama will take on take on uh, Clemson in Los Angeles tomorrow night, 8.49 Eastern Time. They also will be searching for a trip to the Elite Eight. Georgia playing in the NIT semifinals. They will play on Tuesday night against Seton Hall in Indianapolis. That game is scheduled for 9.30 tip. They will then, the winner of that game, will then play the winner of Indiana State and Utah on Thursday in the NIT championship. It is halftime in Detroit. Creighton leads Tennessee 35-34 as you listen to Tennessee basketball on the Vol Network. TAE is Tennessee Associated Electric. They know when your motor or equipment fails, your line goes down, and you start losing money and time. Let TAE help you with electric motor repair in their state-of-the-art facility or advise you through the purchase of a new motor. TAE is an authorized distributor for ABB drives and low-voltage products, along with many other motor manufacturers. TAE, for all of your electrical needs. Tennessee Associated Electric. Visit us at tn-associated.com. Are you having trouble finding the right house in this market? Hi, I'm Billy Houston. The Billy Houston Group has experienced agents that have the knowledge and the connections to help you find the right house. The Tennessee Vols use their experience to bring home this year's SEC title. That shows experience does matter. Call Knoxville's Experienced Realtor Group and use us to your advantage. 865-577-SOLD. Go Vols! Real estate is a people business. The Billy Houston Group. 107.7 WIVK. It's halftime at Will Caesars Arena in Detroit where Creighton leads Tennessee 35 34. Let's go back to the arena and take a look at the halftime stats. Here's Vince Ferrari. Thank you very much, Bobby Raider. Let's take a look at those halftime stats brought to you by Dish. Check the stats. Score big with the best basketball viewing experience only from Dish. Find out more at dish.com slash balls. Tennessee shot 14 of 34 from the floor in the first half at 41%. 5 of 10 from beyond the three-point line at 50%. Just 1 of 2 from the free throw line at 50%. 17 first half rebounds for the Volunteers, 8 assists, 2 turnovers, 2 steals, and 1 block. For Creighton in the first half, Blue Jays shot 13 of 29 from the floor at 45%, 6 of 14 from beyond the arc at 43%, and 3 of 4 from the free throw line at 75%. 19 first half rebounds for the Blue Jays, 8 assists, 4 turnovers, 1 steal, and one block. Leading score for Tennessee was Dalton Connect with 10 points. Leading rebounder for the Vols, Jonas Adu with four rebounds. For Creighton, leading scorer was Baylor Shireman with a game-high 15 points. Ryan Kalkbrenner, the top rebounder for Creighton with six boards in the first half. Other scorers for Tennessee, Jonas Adu had four points to go with his four rebounds. Dalton Connect had three rebounds to go with his 10 points. Zakai Ziegler, seven points, two rebounds, and four assists. Jemai Meshack did not score, had one rebound in the first half. Josiah Jordan James, six points, two rebounds. Jordan Ganey, four points, two rebounds, and two fouls, as did Meshack, who also has two fouls. Toby Awaka did not score, had one rebound. J.P. Estrella did not score or have a rebound. Freddie DeLeon did not score or have a rebound, did have one assist. Cameron Carr, three points and one rebound in the first half. Other scores for Creighton, Mason Miller with three, Ryan Kalkbrenner with eight, Stephen Ashworth, six, Trey Alexander, three, along with four assists. Francisco Farabello and Jason Green did not score for the Blue Jays in the first half. Points off turnovers, advantage balls, 8-0. Points off the bench, advantage balls, 7-0. Fast break points, advantage balls, 3-0. Second chance points, nobody had any second chance points in the first half. Points in the paint, 14 apiece. 
biggest lead in the first half. Four points for both Tennessee and Creighton. Best scoring run, six-point run for both Creighton and Tennessee. Time with the lead, balls with the advantage there, 10.43 to 6.49 for Creighton. Once again, at the half of the Sweet 16 in Detroit, it's Creighton 35, Tennessee 34. You're listening to Tennessee Basketball on the Ball Radio Network. Ready to get an RV to take your excursions to new heights? Even though there's a chill in the air, the deals are heating up at Lazy Days during our winter clearance. Explore more and spend less on 22s and 23s with up to 55% off motorhomes and towables. Envision the thrill of owning your dream RV, fully equipped for all your upcoming adventures. And the best part? These deals are priced below invoice. Transport yourself to the great outdoors with Lazy Days. No one likes the word cancer because it's not just that word, it's others. Like fear, worry, doubt, battle. But Covenant Health's unmatched cancer care gives you the strength to fear less and be fearless, courageous, confident, hopeful, and resilient. More physicians, more services, and more care closer to you. Covenant Health Cancer Care. Let our strength be yours. What's going on, y'all? This is Morgan Wallen, your flagship station for the Tennessee Volunteers, baby. W-I-V-K. It's halftime at the Sweet 16 in Detroit. Creighton leads Tennessee 35-34 back at the Big Orange scoreboard. I'm Bobby Ryder. Let's get you caught up to date on today's action so far. First game of the evening was North Carolina State and Marquette. North Carolina State, the only double-digit seed remaining, and they remain alive. They win over Marquette by a final of 67-58. to Gonzaga and Purdue playing the game right before Tennessee and Creighton at the arena. And Purdue had an early lead. Gonzaga had an early lead. Purdue led at the half 40-36. Four of the five starters, including Edie, scoring in double figures for Purdue as they win over Gonzaga 80-68. to The final, they await the winner of Creighton and Tennessee on Sunday. The other game at the half found Duke leading Houston 23-22, but they are underway now at about three minutes into the second half, and Duke has a 32-28 lead. It's been a very competitive one tonight. And we roll back to Thursday night, and there were some surprises, especially out in Los Angeles. We mentioned Alabama's win over North Carolina, 89-87. The other game in Los Angeles... 77-72, Clemson over Arizona. Quite a run by the ACC. North Carolina State already winning, and Clemson winning last night, and Duke leading their game with Houston right now. UConn rolled over San Diego State right now. UConn, the overall number one seed, and they looked at the part last night. Only in name only was it a rematch of last year's national championship game. UConn wins it by 30, 82, 52 the final. Mentioned Alabama's win over North Carolina, 89-87. to And the other game in the East region last night, Illinois holding off Iowa State by a final of 72-69. to So the Elite Eight is set for Saturday as there will be two games tomorrow evening. One at the Crypto.com Arena, the former Staples Center out in Los Angeles, as Clemson and Alabama will play at 849 Eastern. The earlier game will be Illinois and UConn playing at the TD Garden in Boston. They'll tip at 6.09 tomorrow evening, Illinois and UConn. After the conclusion of tonight's final game, the NCAA will announce the tip times for Sunday's games. Uh, It's expected Tennessee, if they win this game, will go at either 2.20 or 4.45 Eastern on Sunday. Of course, that depends upon the outcome of this game tonight. They trail 35-34 at the break. The women's tournaments had some surprises. South Carolina, the number one overall seed, won today, but it wasn't by much. They beat Indiana 79-75. to And what a run by NC State. We mentioned the men. Well, the women today, the number three seed, beating the number two seed, Stanford, by a final of 77-67. And Oregon State, number three seed, over number two seed, Notre Dame, 70-65 the final. There will be four more games tomorrow in the Sweet 16 on the women's side as LSU will take on UCLA. Colorado will take on another one of the number one seeds, Iowa. The number one seed, Southern Cal, will play Baylor. And Duke, led by Kara Lawson, will take on UConn tomorrow in the women's Sweet 16. 
Baseball today, Tennessee losing to Georgia in the first game, uh, first game of the three-game set for the weekend, 16-2 the final. They'll play again tomorrow at 5 and Sunday at 2 at Lindsey Nelson Stadium in Knoxville. It's halftime in Detroit, and that's where Creighton leads Tennessee 35-34. Bob and Bert, the second half on the way next as you listen to Tennessee basketball on the Vol Network. The madness has begun. Hey, guys, it's Mark from Rusty Wallace Chevrolet in Clinton. You can score big with these deals. New Equinox, only $28.8 or $3.99 a month. Or how about a new four-wheel drive crew cab Silverado, only $44.7, or enjoy 2.9% for 72 months. And don't forget, all new Chevys come with Rusty's exclusive 200,000-mile warranty. So together we ride at Rusty Wallace Chevrolet in Clinton or visit us online at RustyWallaceChevrolet.com, where Chevys cost less. Nowadays, customer service seems to be just a thing of the past. Personally, I still enjoy shopping local where the business is invested in our community and the people that work there are proud and it shows. This is why Professional Jewelers is number one in customer service, experience, and design involvement. They care. They know your name. They work with you on your dream piece of jewelry and create truly one-of-a-kind piece that will become a family legacy for years to come. Visit our friends Greg and Margaret Finch at Professional Jewelers at one of their locations in Knoxville or Athens or visit Pro Jewelers.net. Download the WIVK app and listen to the Frog Station anywhere. Twenty minutes to the Elite Eight for one of these teams as Tennessee and Creighton get set for the second half here in Detroit in the Midwest Regional Sweet 16. Creighton leads at halftime, 35-34. Bob Kessling, Kirk Bertelkamp, back with you here courtside at the Little Caesars Arena. Bert, second half, your thoughts coming in. Well, I think Tennessee's going to get back on, on the track with the defense because Mayshack will be back in the game. It'll make things a little tougher on Creighton. they got to do a better job on Shireman and uh, and try to get the ball. I think Aidu can score on Callbrenner if he if he gets it in the paint. Tennessee. Tennessee's defense is going to carry him. Yep, indeed. Again, Tennessee playing tonight without Santiago Vescovi. He's out with the flu, so Javai Mayshack made the start. He'll be in the starting lineup in the second half as Tennessee brings it up first. Connect. Gets it out front. Adu sets a pick. Connect pulls up at the free throw line and he's short on that shot. Rebound though goes to Meshack. Saves it to Ziegler. Launches a three and he hits. Money. Great start for Tennessee. Second three-pointer of the night for Ziegler. Second shots. 37-35. Tennessee gets the lead back. Boy, Ziegler shoots with a lot of confidence. Yeah, he does. Miller hands it back to Ashworth. Now to Alexander. Tennessee's up by two. Alexander way out there by midcourt. Trying to get around Meshack. That's a tough job. Now to Ashworth. Turns, fires at the free throw line and hits. Coming, came off a pick and hit that little fall away. We're tied at 37. Ziegler in front court gives to Adu. A 17-footer on the way. Bounces. No good. Rebound. Ashworth takes it out of there for Creighton. Fires it ahead. What a pass. Shireman goes in and gets fouled going to the rim. Adu. What are, you're right. That was a heck of a pass. That was a bullet pass. Who threw that? Alexander? Yeah. Three-quarter court, basically. Right on the money. It's a Shireman who goes to the basket and got fouled. Foul is on Adu. That'll be his first. And so Baylor Shireman to the line. Yes, 15 points in this game. He's two at two at the line. This for the lead, and he hits it. He's not going to miss many. He's an 87% free throw shooter. He's second on their team in steals, leading score, averaging 18 points a game. He's got 16 already, now 17. Hits both free throws. And Creighton back out in front, 39-37. Ziegler calls out the play as he comes across midcourt. Gives to Connect. Connect, top of the key. Turns, fires a three, way short. He knew it was short, but after his own missed shot, puts it up no good and draws a foul. Wow. On Paul Brenner. That was good instincts by Connect. He knew yeah. that shot was short and chased it down and took it right at Paul Brenner, who has picked up his first foul. So Dalton Connect will go to the line, tries... Two free throws to attempt to tie this game up. Connect to 76% free throw shooter. One for two tonight. Fires and hits. Connect with 11. So that's his 30th double-figure scoring game on the season. 
in this Tennessee's 35th game of the year. Connect to tie the game. Second one is good. We're tied at 39. Now Tennessee's picking about full court. Shireman gets it into Ashworth. Ashworth hands the ball back to Alexander. He'll bring it up against Mayshack. Tied at 39. 1840 to go. Top of the circle, Alexander. Keeps his dribble alive as Mayshack's right on him. Alexander with 10 seconds on the shot clock. Drives, looks down low. They fall off missed and he it. puts up a shot. No good and Mayshack rebounds. They fell off him and Alexander missed a 15-footer. Tennessee's got the ball in a tie game. Ziegler down the lane. Picks up his dribble. Gets it over to Mayshack. Mayshack back out front to Ziegler. Ziegler calls out the play with 14 seconds on the shot clock. Ziegler. Between the circles, gets it to connect, turns, dumps it down low. James, James over Miller in the lane. Good. Hey, hey, I think Josiah can take Miller anytime he wants. Tennessee back in front, 41 39. You just jump over him. James has eight points in this game. Ashworth directing traffic out front. Ashworth keeps his dribble alive. Now he hands it to Alexander. They're not, they're not getting much done with their offense. Nope. Alexander, top of the circle against Mayshack. Now to Miller. Miller, right wing with five seconds on the shot clock. Gets to Shireman. Shireman drives. Walk. Walk. Yep. Tennessee's defense is locking down. Yeah. Shireman is trying to get in position to shoot it. Going down the lane with the shot clock going down, and he just took an extra step. And the key's Mayshack on Alexander. Alexander right. can penetrate, but he can't against Mayshack. 41-39, Tennessee. Ziegler gives to Connect. Connect in the lane. Kicks it back. The Ziegler, top of the circle. Drives. There's that floater again. This one's short, though. And the ball goes to Ashworth, and Ziegler battles for it. And they both, Ashworth and Ziegler, go crashing out of bounds. Miller brings the ball in front court. Fires the ball. Shireman. Bounce pass. Hulkbrenner goes to the basket. It's blocked by James. Wow. A layup attempt. Woo! Here comes Tennessee. Connect. Goes against Shireman to the basket. Puts it up and in. What a block by James. Tremendous play. And Connect took it hard to the basket and scored it. And Tennessee leads 43-39. That's hooping right there, Bert. Yep, no doubt. Ashworth to Shireman. Shireman gets it down low. Kalkbrenner knocked away to get it back. Shireman bounces it down low. Kalkbrenner again. He's got James on him. Fires a cross court. Stolen by Connect. Connect gets it up to Meshack who lays it up and in. Tennessee's taking it to him. Mayshack on the steal and scores it, and the Blue Jays are going to have to take a timeout. As Tennessee's on a run, they trail 39-37, but since then, Tennessee goes on an 8-0 run, and with 16-12 to go in the game, Tennessee has opened up a six-point lead. Mayshack's the key. He is playing great defense. Timeout, 16-12 remaining, and Tennessee leads Creighton 45-39. Tennesseans are concerned about inflation, but did you know natural gas is still the most affordable way to heat your home, dry your clothes, and cook your food? There's something special about natural gas. Warmth, comfort, and economy. Plenty of hot water. Always reliable performance. That's why Tennessee is powered by natural gas. Yesterday, today, tomorrow. Natural gas. 10 feet. It's not just the distance between the floor and the rim. It's a proving ground where the hopes and dreams of every basketball player are born. But here in Tennessee, 10 feet takes on new meaning with checkerboard baselines, the rocky top rowdies, and the heart pounding excitement of 20,000 screaming fans. Yes, 10 feet will always be 10 feet, but the volunteer spirit never stops growing. Farm Bureau Insurance, Tennessee's insurance company and the official insurance of the Vols. For me, college wasn't a given. The concern of cost kept me from considering four-year schools until I heard about UT Promise, a scholarship covering tuition and mandatory fees for qualifying students with a household income below $75,000 a year. Skeptical but hopeful, I applied to two University of Tennessee system schools and was accepted to both. As a person with limited financial resources, choices are rare. The freedom of choice is powerful, and UT Promise gave that to me. Explore your choices at Tennessee.edu. 
It's time to get a dose of Tennessee basketball and grab a dose of the refreshing lager that's perfect for celebrating one of college basketball's greatest fan traditions, the proud tradition of drinking beer. Dos Equis Golden Pilsner style beer is perfect for celebrating with friends all over Big Orange Country. So this season, grab a dose of Tennessee basketball and Dos Equis, always available at Food City Center. Proud sponsor of Tennessee basketball. Enjoy Dos Equis responsibly. Imported by Cervezas Mexicanas, White Plains, New York. You're listening to March Madness, fall network coverage of the Tennessee Volunteers in the NCAA Basketball Tournament with Bob Kessling and Burt Bertelkamp. Tennessee on an 8-0 run against Creighton, and the Vols have opened up the biggest lead they've had in the game of 6, 45-39. Tennessee trailed by one at halftime, and Burt, they've come out a strong start second half. Yeah, their defense, we, we knew it would when Mayshack back in the game picks up. He locks down Alexander, and they can't get into their offense. Ziegler's locked down Ashworth. Their two ball handlers have been, haven't been effective. And Alexander hadn't made any shots. Ashworth's made some shots, but they can't run their offense because of those two defenders for Tennessee. Alexander's one for seven from the field. And the Tennessee fans across the way making some noise, cheering on this Tennessee defense. 8-0 run over the last 237. And Creighton will have the ball. Bert, they've really done a good job on Kalkbrenner. He's only taken six shots in the game. Yeah, and then, what, three of them have been lobs. Yeah. And so the Blue Jays bring it in. They have to throw it to backcourt to Alexander. Alexander walks it across the line. He tries to get the ball to Ashworth. And Ziegler knocked the ball out of bounds right in front of the Creighton bench. Both Ziegler and uh, Ashworth crashed into each other, but no foul was called. And Ziegler's in Ashworth's head. Oh, yeah. Big time. I knew he would be. Shireman trying to get it in bounds. Right in front of the Creighton bench. Lobs it cross court to Alexander. Alexander made a nice catch. Alexander goes to the basket. The fakes goes up. Mayshack blocks his shot. Connect comes out of there with it. Connect goes to the basket. Left hand layup goes. Sweet! 16 for Connect. The run is 10-0. Another defensive play by Mayshack. Keep that play. 47-39. Shireman, a long, long three is no good. They can't run an offense. Nope. Ziegler gets the rebound to Connect. Connect pulls up. Long three. No good. A walker goes for the rebound, and Tennessee sets it up. Tennessee's quicker to the ball. More physical. 47-39, Tennessee. Ziegler between the circles. Ziegler gives to connect. Comes out that curl. Swings it out to Ziegler. A long three on the way. It's good. Money. What a run by Tennessee. They're wearing them out. Tennessee leads 50-39. to 39, And the Blue Jays have no answers right now. They can't run their offense. 13-0 run by Tennessee. Ashworth gives to Alexander. Alexander in the lane. Double team. Flips it back out to Ashworth. Left side, Alexander. Down low, Kalk runner with Mayshack on him. Turns, and Mayshack blocks his shot. James comes out of there with it. James to front court. Swings it back to Ziegler. They're waiting for Mayshack. Mayshack was down there battling. Man, is, he a, is yeah. he a warrior or Unbelievable. what? Ziegler between the circles. Ziegler to connect. Turns, fires a 15-footer. That's short. But Mayshack gets the rebound underneath and sticks it in. Player of the game so far. Nobody boxed him out. Wow. 52-39. Here's Ashworth driving to the basket. He's shut off by James. Alexander gets it way out front. Alexander down low. Shireman goes up, lays up. No good. They're looking over their shoulder. Yep. Waiting on Mayshack. Missed the layup, connect. In the corner, James, he fires. That's good. Money. Ball him out of here. What a barrage by Tennessee. And the Volunteers now build up a 55-39 lead. And Creighton's got to take another timeout. Creighton takes the time with 13.51 to go. And it's going to be a 30-second timeout. At the conclusion of the game, we'll announce the advanced auto parts player of the game, Advance Your Auto at Advance Auto Parts. Tennessee trailed in this game 39-37. Suddenly, Tennessee is up 52-39 with a timeout. Back in a moment, this is Tennessee Basketball on the Ball Network. Every morning, 
Every evening, we're here. Because when it comes to children, it's more than a job. It's our life. We're here for every tear, every little scare, and for life's greatest challenges. We're East Tennessee Children's Hospital, and together, we're taking care of our future, one child at a time. Hey folks, it's Greg at Rusty Wallace Ford, and I've got some big news for you. We're having our winter savings sale, and we've got a great selection of new Fords and some of our best deals ever. Choose from our most popular models, like Ford Explorer, Escape, Bronco Sport, and America's best-selling truck, Ford F-150, all with 2.9% financing for 72 months. And every new Ford comes with Rusty's exclusive 200,000-mile warranty. Hurry out today. Rusty Wallace Ford in Dandridge. You'll drive home happy. I'll always remember our family vacations in the beautiful Smoky Mountains. We'd rent a cabin, Dad would take us hiking, whitewater rafting, or horseback riding. I really enjoy making this tradition a part of my children's lives. With over 1,500 cabins, campgrounds, and bed and breakfast to choose from, Visit My Smokies is the only site you need to plan your Smoky Mountain getaway. Visit MySmokies.com. Come home to the Smokies and make vacation memories that will last a lifetime. 7.7 WIVK. On your smart speaker. It was a one point lead for Creighton at halftime, 35 34. And now you look up, and Tennessee is leading by 16 points, an 18 0 run. And Tennessee leads 55 39 as Burt Tennessee suddenly has hit six of its last eight shots. The Blue Jays haven't scored in five minutes and 11 seconds. And Tennessee beat the Blue Jays during this stretch every possible way you can beat a team. Blocking shots, getting steals, hand in the face on defense. They can't run their offense. And then we're getting in transition. We got 10 second chance points, 24 points in the paint, 10 points off their turnover. We're wearing them out right now. Well, and, but the one thing you said, and I think hit it right on the head, things are going to change when Meshack got back into the game, and it certainly has. He's all over the place. Yeah, they can't run their offense because of him. He just locked down Alexander. Ziegler already taken care of Ashworth. They got him playing off the ball, but they can't run anything. And James has done a good job on Shireman. He's, he's got some points, but he's had to work for him. And Kogbrenner hadn't really been a factor. Tennessee now leads by 16 points on an 18-0 run. Alexander gets it. And backcourt gives to Ashworth. Tennessee has outscored great in this half, 21-4. Alexander, top of the key. Swings up left side. Shireman, a long three on the way. That's good. Shireman, he's got 20. That ends the run. They got to make difficult shots, though, to score. Yep. They can't get anything going in the paint. 55-42, Tennessee, 13-36 to go. Ziegler gives to connect off the curl, back to Ziegler. Thought about the three, didn't take it. And now they run another play. Ziegler gets a pick from Awaka, down the lane, bounce back from Awaka, goes in and scores, wearing him out. Falk runner doesn't want to foul him, and Awaka gets his first bucket of the game. Ziegler's doing whatever he wants out there. 57-42, Ashworth gives to Alexander. Alexander drives on Meshack. And a whistle and a holding foul on Meshack. Bert, let's be uh, truthful about this. Tennessee has just been a lot more physical than uh, has Creighton, and the refs are letting them play. A lot more athletic, too. They're just quicker and stronger, faster. Meshack comes out of the game, and everybody on the Tennessee side stands and salutes his defensive effort. Unbelievable effort. Alexander to throw it in with 12.56 to go. They get into the corner. Pass goes to Shireman. He'll bring it back out with Connect on him. He drives against Connect. Goes to the basket. Throws it away as Connect got a hand on that pass and steals it. Connect dribbles up. Gives to Ganey just into the game. He pulls up. His three is no good. Green goes high to get the rebound for the Blue Jays. To Ashworth that brings the front court. Ashworth. Cross court pass to Green. Practically. Almost sailed that one into the yeah. Now threw it out of the gym. Ashworth drives on Ganey. Gets to the rim, and the shot's blocked by Ganey. Rebound, Green goes in. Scoop shot is good. But Ganey, terrific block. But Creighton still scores. Ashworth's going to see orange in his dreams. 
57-44. Approaching 12 minutes to go. Ziegler gives to Ganey. Comes off the screen. Ganey kicks it out. James, a three on the way, is rattling. No good. Brenner gets the rebound, and here come the Blue Jays. 57-44, Tennessee. Ashworth, top of the key. Ziegler is right on him. Brenner out by the three-point line. He's not going to shoot from there. Brenner can't find anybody to pass it to. Finally to Green. Green with James on him. Swings the pass. It goes to Shireman. Shireman drives on James. Now he pulls up from 15. That rattle's no good. Green flies in to get a rebound. He lays it up and in. That yeah, Green's helped him. He's Green more gets athletic. His, gets his second basket. He's physical. And the Blue Jays have cut it back to 11. 57-46. Under 12 to go. Ziegler gives to connect. Works on Shireman, who did a nice job defensively, not letting Connect shoot. Now Connect brings it back out near midcourt. Gets a pick from a walker, drives in the lane, throws it over to, to Ganey. Ganey with five seconds on the shot clock. Step back three is good. Oh, money. Ganey has really helped Tennessee tonight. That's seven points for him off the bench. Shot clock was running out, and he bombed in a three. 60-46, Tennessee. Ashworth. The Shireman. Shireman drives across the lane, spins, fakes to James, goes up and scores off the glass. He wanted to get a foul, but no whistle. They're letting him play. 60-48. Tennessee leads by 12. Ten and a half minutes to go. Ziegler works on Ashworth, gets around him, goes baseline, gives to Walker. A little 10-footer is bouncing short. Good look. Yep. Alexander gets the rebound, gives to Ashworth. Ashworth drives to the top of the key, now backs it out. They really don't look for Kalkbrenner very much. No, they don't. Low. They don't. Alexander, top of the circle, pulls up at the free throw line, swings it left side to Ashworth. Ashworth down low, Kalkbrenner in the lane, turns, hooks it up and in. Well, just soon we said they don't go to him. Yeah. Gets the set play and score. Well, they had a mismatch. Walker got switched up, and James was on him. He had to hide the bandage. Down to a 10-point lead for Tennessee. Under 10 to go in the game. And I think Sherman's gassed. Top of the circle, Ganey. Ganey gives to Ziegler. There's that floater again. Good down the lane. Shot oh. it over Kalkbrenner. What touch. Just floats it up there. It's unbelievable how good it is at that shot. That's a tough shot, too. Little floater from 10 feet. Just a push shot. 9.24 to go. Tennessee leads 62-50. Alexander gets around Connect, goes to the basket, and Connect fouled him. That'll take us to a break. 9.18 to go in the game, and there's timeout here in Detroit with our score. Tennessee 62 and Creighton 50. Back in a moment, this is Tennessee Basketball on the Fall Network. Imagine yourself in a new Toyota, like the best-selling RAV4 with the best resale value in its class. Now through April 1st, get 4.75 APR financing on an adventurous new 24 RAV4 or electrified RAV4 hybrid. Excludes RAV4 Prime. Or you could get a great lease deal on RAV4 with approved credit through TFS. Plus, you get two years no-cost maintenance. Get details at Toyota.com. Ready, set, go get your Toyota today. Toyota, let's go places. Hey, Vol fans, this is Jonas Adu. If you can't make it out to the game, you can always watch us at Fieldhouse Social with good food, old beer, and one of the biggest big screens I've ever seen. <laughs> and I know big. Fieldhouse Social, just off campus at the University of Tennessee. Sports fans and foodies alike can enjoy a selection of 40 beers on tap and a delicious selection of menu items, all while cheering on the Vols. Catch Vol basketball at Fieldhouse Social. Fieldhouse Social, Tennessee Sports Bar, University Commons, right off the Cumberland Strip. Sun up on a cool, sweet morning. Sausage frying in the pan. Make that sausage always Wamplers, it's the finest in the land. Wamplers, Wamplers, it's great sausage made on the farm in Tennessee. Don't say sausage, just say Wamplers, for the best in quality. Make that sausage always Wamplers, it's the best in quality. Hi, we're all the On your flagship station for the Vols, 107.7 WIBK. 
can download the Varsity Network app to listen to NCAA tournament games around the country on their phone or mobile device. Due to NCAA tournament regulations, the Ball Network is not allowed to stream the broadcast through the Tennessee Athletics app or utsports.com like most normal games. The Ball Radio Network can be heard, however, on the Varsity Network app throughout the NCAA tournament. If you're outside the listening range of the Ball Network, download the Varsity Network app and listen to Tennessee basketball on the Ball Network during this NCAA tournament, which finds Tennessee leading 62-50 to over the Creighton Blue Jays. Tennessee, a moment ago, had a 16-point lead, and Burt, with Creighton able to hit three-point shots, you've got to finish this thing. Oh, yeah, you can't let up a bit. The Tennessee's rolling right now. 11 for 20 the second half, 55%, 4 for 8 from the three-point line, and we don't have a single turnover. We've only got two for the game. So Tennessee's playing at a high level defensively with Mayshack back in the game. They've locked down Creighton, except for Shireman. No one else has really been effective. Two turnovers is almost unbelievable in a game like this. Well, that's the way Creighton plays. They don't get after you too much. They play position defense. We're able to shoot over them. We're more athletic than they are. Well, you know, Creighton, most games, their opponents... Only have 7.7 turnovers per game, so yeah, they don't under force, eight a game. Yeah, they don't force men. Here's Alexander at the line. Tennessee leads 62-50. Alexander's first free throw on the way is good. He's got three points. Fouls this half. Tennessee with three. Creighton has one. Creighton for the game is only fouled five times. Alexander, second free throw is good. Now, Tennessee trying to keep the pedal down on offense. The lead is 10, 62-50. They, they're going zone. Pass goes to Ziegler on the wing. He's going to turn and fire a three. That's bouncing no good. Long rebound. Has lost. As it's loose on the floor, and Mayshack picks it up. Yeah, Farabello turned it over. Farabello lost the handle coming down the floor. So a turnover gives the ball back to Tennessee. Ziegler in the corner. Drives in the lane. Flips it over to Ganey. There's his three on the way. That's bouncing no good. Look at Mayshack. Mayshack came in there and knocked it away from Kalkbrenner, but Alexander came in to grab it. Alexander comes to front court. Top of the circle. Look at gives Mayshack. The big center. Mayshack's unbelievable. All over Alexander. He's denying him the ball everywhere. He finally got it, but he's 30 feet from the bucket. Alexander drives to the corner. He's wide open, doesn't shoot it. Ten seconds left to go. Farabello drives on Ziegler. Backs him down with five seconds from the right block. Farabello in trouble. Gives it up to Kalkbrenner. His three is way off the mark. Rebound loose underneath. And it's picked up by Shireman and just lays it up and in. That fell right in his lap. But look what I found. Yep. Bad break for Tennessee. 62-54, and they called a foul on the play as well. That's going to send Shireman to the line. The foul is on James. That ball was up for grabs, and he just fell in Shireman's lap, and he laid it in. He's got the lead down to eight. Now Shireman will go again, the lefty. Got 25 points now as he hits that free throw. So the Blue Jays making some noise now. As the lead is 62-55. Sliced down from the 16-point advantage. It's now at 7. Tennessee needs a bucket right here. Eight minutes to go in the game. They're going to go to connect if he can get open. Hey, do. Hands it back to Ziegler. There's a reach-in foul on Farabella. Try to knock it away from Ziegler. And that's going to take us to a break. The other eight breaks. 7.54 to go. As Creighton trying to rally against a Tennessee team that had built up a 16-point lead. With timeout, our score is Tennessee 62 and Creighton 55. Back in a moment, this is Tennessee basketball on the Ball Network. Are you looking for a church family where you can connect with others and feel at home? You're invited to be our guest this Sunday at Grace Baptist Church, 7171 Oak Ridge Highway in the Carnes community. There are two services at 9 a.m. and 1030. We have something for every member of your family. See us on social media at Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. We can't wait to see you at Grace Baptist Church. For more information, visit our website at gracebc.com. Org. And the Lady Bulls call timeout with two seconds left here at the Food City Center. Let's go inside Coach Harper's huddle. 
we're going to run the Tennessee T-bone at them, ladies. Wh what? As smooth as an authentic Food City butcher slicing up certified Angus beef. What? Now that pass must be as crisp as the freshest produce at Food City. Are we still talking about basketball? Let's go, ladies. One, two, three, finish! Food City, official supermarket of the Lady Bulls and last second heroics. It's basketball time in Tennessee. Union Place Bar and Grill off Chambliss Avenue in Bearden is the only place to be. 24 TVs including a 160-inch video wall in the dining room, a game room with billiards, shuffleboard, darts, golden tee, buck hunter, and video poker, and a huge outdoor courtyard perfect for tailgating with beautiful scenery, a covered area, and live music every weekend. You can't lose. Unless you don't show up. Union Place Bar and Grill off Chambliss Avenue. Follow them on Facebook for daily specials. Union Place Bar and Grill. This must be the place. Tell Alexa to play 107.7 WIVK. At the Big Orange Scoreboard, I'm Bobby Rayner. Alabama already in the Elite Eight, going for a final four tomorrow night with a win over Clemson in Los Angeles. Does he try to punch their ticket to the Elite Eight? The ACC's had a pretty good week. Clemson made it to the Elite Eight last night with a win over Arizona. North Carolina State did likewise tonight with their 67-58 win over Marquette. And Duke trying to become the third as they right now are leading Houston 50-46. 4.51 remaining in the game. Bob? Bobby, thanks. Here, Tennessee is leading 6-255. We have 7.54 to go in this game. Tennessee Dalton Connect has 16 points and 5 assists. Zakai Ziegler with 15 points and 5 assists. And Josiah Jordan-James has 11. Remember, Tennessee playing tonight without Santiago Mescadi, and he is out with the flu. But the most amazing stat in the game, Tennessee 14 assists, just 2 turnovers. Yeah, 2 turnovers. That's outstanding. No matter who you're playing against. Tennessee's getting good looks at the basket, shooting well the second half, 50%. But their defense has been the key. Zakai Ziegler with five assists. He's now set the uh, Tennessee record for assists in the NCAA with 29, and he passed Burt Bertelkamp. I hate to tell you that, Burt. It's unbelievable he'd do that to me. And I would. With Burt at 27 <laughs> in five games. But Burt still's got him on individual games. Burt had 16 in an NCAA tournament game. Ziegler with the ball. Farabello can't keep up with Ziegler. Nope. Adu gets the top of the key. Adu tries to get to connect. Still holds it, gives to Ziegler. Ziegler splits the defense, fires a no-look pass to Meshack, who lays it up there, and it's no good. It just stayed on the back flange, just stayed up there. Five rolled off, and Creighton got the rebound. So close. Alexander drops it down low. Paul Brenner working on Adu. Spins. Fakes. Goes up and scores. I don't They're know why they don't now. try to do that more. And every time. 62-57. The Blue Jays fighting back. They've sliced the lead from 16 down to 5. Ziegler gives to James. They've spread the floor. Connect. Been quiet this half. Gets it top of the key to James. He's open. There's his three. That's bouncing no good. Alexander gets the rebound for Creighton. 6.53 to go, and the Blue Jays bring it up. 62-57, Tennessee. Alexander out at midcourt. Meshack back into the game. Playing defense. Alexander gets it left wing. Kunk Brenner sets the screen. Alexander drives to the basket. Shut off. Throws it out front. Shireman's got a three. Missed it. Rebound inside, and a foul is going to be called on Green. Going over the back. Foul on Creighton. Just the third team foul on the Blue Jays. Tennessee will have the ball up by five. 62-57. Now Creighton on a 7-0 run. And Tennessee hadn't scored in three minutes. Tennessee on the attack. Six and a half minutes to go. Up by five. Ziegler, top of the key. Carabello. Trying to guard him. They're back man-to-man. -man. Left side, James. James, give and go. A walk, a little hook shot short. Alexander gets the rebound for Creighton. Alexander waits for his teammates and sets it up with six minutes to go. There's an alley-oop. Kalkbrenner goes up and a walk of thousand. Caught an alley-oop as Shireman lobbed it at the rim. Kalkbrenner caught it, but he was fouled by a walker. That's his second. Well, Bert, you felt pretty good when it was up 16 a minute ago, and suddenly, as you knew they would, Creighton has yeah. kind of fought back. 
they fall back against Oregon to get here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're a veteran team. Overtime, yeah. A lot of time, six minutes. Caught Brenner at the line, shoots and hits. He's got 13 points. He had 19 points, 14 rebounds in 50 minutes in that game against Oregon. Tonight he's got 13.7 rebounds. He can cut the lead down to three. Cole Brenner fires and hits. 14. 62-59. It's a three-point game. And now the Creighton fans make some noise. Ziegler in front court. Ziegler. Carabello's on him. Ziegler gives to James. Down to Meshack in the corner. Connect. Connect. Brings it back out. Sets it up with 10 seconds on the shot clock. Connect. Gets a pick from a walker. Turns. Fires a long three. Good. Money. They needed that. Big time. What a shot. Connect with 19. 65-59. Here's Alexander driving to the basket. Lost his balance. Meshack came over. And he fell down, and now Tennessee's got the ball. Bounce pass, a walker against Kalkbrenner, and the ball is blocked. And they're saying that a walker shot, I thought Kalkbrenner blocked it. It went over the goal. Yeah, but did he? Kalkbrenner hit it? I think he did. But they're going to give the ball back to Creighton. A walker drove in the heart against Kalkbrenner, and right at the rim there was a collision, and the ball went off the shot clock so it was technically out of bounds but it looked like Hawk Runner touched it last and Alexander's hurt he's limping yeah he slipped at the other end on that last shot he lost his balance going in for the layup 5-10 to go Tennessee leads by 6 Ashworth with Ziegler right on him now to Alexander at 3 point range Alexander drives to the free throw line Gives to Shireman. Shireman loose it back out to Alexander. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Alexander drives against Meshack. Goes strong to the basket. Missed it. They tip it. It's still loose. And it's saved by the Blue Jays. Ashworth from the corner hits a three. Good hustle by Creighton. They kept it alive. And Ashworth gets the three-point shot. And it's 65-62. And Alexander isn't going to be able to keep up with Connect. There he is, Connect wide turns, open. fires the three-point shot, good by Connect, back-to-back -back three. Yeah, he can't stay with him. Connect, when they need him the most, has come through, 68-62. Connect again, 420 to go. Ashworth gets a step, goes to the basket, lays it up and in with a left hand. He's pretty good, isn't he? Ashworth's really good. All these players are good tonight. 68-64, Tennessee by four. We're ticked down to four minutes left to go on this one. Connect turns, fires another one. That's going to bounce no good. Alexander gets the rebound. Quickly in front court to Ashworth. A cross court pass was deflected. Connect said he never touched it. And now Tony Padilla comes in and says that's correct as he overrules Potter. So it'll be Tennessee basketball after the timeout. Creighton tries a long pass, ill-advised, and Connect never touched it as it went from the right side of the court to the left in the deep corner. And it'll be Tennessee ball when we come back. 3.54 remaining in this one. A trip to the Elite Eight on the line. Our score with timeout, Tennessee 68, Creighton 64. There's a lot of trash talk in basketball, but great teams let their performance do the talking. Like the Ford F-150 truck with smart tech that'll help win the day and leave the competition speechless. That's why F-150 is the best-selling full-size pickup in Tennessee. Greatness starts here. See your local Ford dealer, proud sponsor of the Vols. Based on S&P Global Mobility Total, U.S. new vehicle registrations for the standard full-size pickup segment RYTD April 2023. Some models, trims, and features may not be available or may be subject to change. Food. It's our thing. But how you shop for it, that's all you. Order online. Bread, milk, oh, and fresh baked cookies. And pick it up curbside. Thank you! Or have it delivered straight to your door. Here's our food city delivery. Oh, thanks. With Instacart or DoorDash. Nobody does food like Food City. And now get it straight from our doors to yours. 
For 75 years, Farm Bureau Insurance has proudly served Tennesseans by helping them protect what matters most. UT Athletics and the Vol Network are thrilled to celebrate this milestone alongside them. It's a story of Tennesseans coming together to support each other, and that's what Farm Bureau Insurance is all about. Tennesseans helping Tennesseans. When it comes to insurance, choose the one that's proudly rooted in the volunteer state. Farm Bureau Insurance, Tennessee's insurance company, and the official insurance of the Vols. Dave Miller for First Horizon. First Horizon is so proud to be Tennessee's bank. We were founded in 1864. This is our home. It is our job, we believe, to serve families and businesses and strengthen the communities that we live in. By the same token, we are so proud to have been the official bank of the Balls and Lady Balls for 30 years because we know an investment in our state's land-grant institution is really an investment in the future of the state. First Horizon, Tennessee's bank. This is the Vol Network, and you're listening to the Tennessee Volunteers in the NCAA Basketball Tournament. Tennessee leads 68-64, still with 3.54 remaining in this game. Right now, let's take a chance to pause 10 seconds for station identification. Produced by Learfield, this is the Vol Network. Your home for the Vols. 107.7 WIVK-FM, Knoxville. A stimulus media station. WIVK. Tennessee got a great start to the second half. They went on an 18-0 run, built up a 16-point lead. Creighton kept clawing back and cut it down to three. And then Burke, suddenly you're All-American, who'd only scored two points in the second half. It's back-to-back threes to jump the lead to 65-59, then again to 68-62. When you need them, All-Americans have to step up. Yeah, and, and Dalton did step up big time for Tennessee. And so Tennessee's lead now is four. Still lots of time remaining in this one. Foul situation. Creighton has committed three fouls this half. Tennessee of five. Ziegler brings it to front court. Ziegler. Gets it to connect. Comes across the lane. Pulls up a little 10-footer in the lane. Bounces no good. And Shireman gets the rebound for Creighton. Gives to Alexander. Alexander on the right wing. Right in front of the Creighton bench. Ziegler's right on him. Alexander now drives Ziegler. Can't get in. Now he gives it off. Kalkbrenner gives it off to Green. Kalkbrenner right at the rim. Didn't take a shot. Hard to believe. Ashworth. Left side. Shireman down low. Kalkbrenner. He's got Mayshack on him. Turns, hooks it off across the lane. No good. Tennessee rebounds with Mayshack. Tennessee dodged the bullet right there. Yeah, called Renner. <laughs> He's talking to himself. I'm not sure what he was thinking right then. He was right in front of the rim, didn't shoot it. Tennessee's going to take their time here. Three minutes to go. Tennessee's up by four, 68-64. Pass goes to Connect. Connect. Splits a double team. Drives to the basket hard. His shot's blocked out of bounds by Kalk Brenner. It'll still be Tennessee ball. He hadn't had many blocks tonight, but he blocked Dalton Connect on that drive to the basket. You know, the fact is they play defense without fouling. Paul Brenner didn't foul him. No, he didn't. It's a good block. Just kept his arms up. 4.6 seconds to go on the Tennessee shot clock. And somebody's got to take it and get the ball in bounds. The official puts the ball and starts to count. Ziegler finally gets it from the deep corner. Ziegler looks, 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 calls timeout. Couldn't get it in. That uh, Everybody was out of sorts on that play. And Josiah Jordan-James is talking as they go to the bench. Somebody was out of place, and Tennessee is able to take a timeout. It's a smart play calling the timeout. No they're, they're good on inbounds plays anyway. They'll probably get, have a good, get a good shot anyway. So Tennessee's down to two timeouts. Creighton has just one with 2.47 remaining. What's at stake? Trip to the Elite Eight. And the winner will get Purdue here on Sunday. Purdue beat Gonzaga 80-64. to Burt, what are your thoughts on Purdue? Purdue's really good. Yeah. They're really good. I was really impressed. They got a lot of depth and excellent point guard. It'll be a tough matchup. Got to get through this one first. Got work to do. 2.47, four-point lead. So Tennessee will bring it in from the deep corner. And I think this time James is going to bring it in. Dalton Connect leads Tennessee with 22 points. Ziegler has 15. 
James with 11, the only players in double figures. James in the deep corner. 4.6 seconds on the shot clock. James throws it to Ziegler. Splits it on the team, goes in, whistle, and traveling on Ziegler. Took an extra step, trying to get that shot to the rim. He was in traffic, Bert. Yeah, he was uh, splitting the defense and couldn't put the ball on the floor. So a turnover gives the ball back to the Blue Jays. That is Tennessee's third turnover of the game. That's unbelievable. Creighton brings it in. Free throw shooting in the game. Tennessee is 3 of 4. And Creighton is 10 of 11. Creighton gets the ball to Alexander. Alexander lost his dribble. Gives to Ashworth. He's in trouble. Mayshack right on top of him. Mayshack reaches in and fouls. That's number four. Mayshack picks up the foul, being aggressive. Bert, there's 2.32 to go. I think you just leave him in. Yeah, huh? yeah, I think so. But that's the sixth team foul on Tennessee. We'll shoot on the next one. Creighton only has three fouls this half. Shireman lobs the ball into backcourt. Gets it to Alexander. 2.30 to go. Tennessee leads by four. 68-64. Alexander, top of the key. Gives the ball Shireman. Lop it down low. Brenner gets against the walker. They're banging each other. Brenner spins with the left hand. Shoots on the baseline. No good. And a whistle. And a foul on Miller. Yep, going to be foul on Miller as he tried to go over the back of Dalton Connect. Brenner ran into a wall under there yeah. with the walker. He wasn't going to move no. him an inch. He kept banging and banging, and Awaka was going nowhere. Good defense. He ended up spinning and taking a left-hand shot from the baseline. Very difficult shot. He's 6 of 12 from the field. So it's still four with two minutes to go now. Tennessee with the ball and the lead. Awaka gives to James. James gets to connect. Top of the key. Shireman's got him. Now pass to Ziegler in the lane. Fakes a little 10-footer. Blocked by Kalkmeyer. Mayshack saves it. But a foul is going to be called. On Creighton. On, on Alexander. Going to be on Alexander pushing against Meshack on the rebound. I thought at first maybe they're going to give it on Meshack for going over the back. I thought Meshack landed out of bounds. They set a foul first. Joe Lindsay yep. called it. Yep. So Tennessee has the ball. 154 to go. Inbounds pass to Awaka. Hands it back to Ziegler. That's the fifth foul on Creighton. Ziegler out front. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Ziegler. Gets a pick from Awaka. Ziegler, bounce back Awaka. Give and go, lays it up, and in, and he's fouled. What a play by Ziegler and Awaka. Ziegler, bounce pass on the curl to Awaka. Give and go, Awaka lays it in, and he's fouled by Kalkbrenner. Yeah, he put it up there so soft. That was sweet. What a play by Zakai Ziegler. And Awaka, give him credit for finishing that. Yeah, through contact. So now a walker goes to the line trying to complete a three-point play. 139 remaining. A walker fires, bounces in. Got it. A walker with a three-point play. And Tennessee now leads 71-64. Ashworth drives into a double team. Gives it out to Shireman. He drives, throws up a left-hand wild shot, no good. And a walker just ranks it. He rakes that one away. Toby Walker coming up big for Tennessee down the stretch. We're down to 118 remaining. And now a foul as Ashworth has to foul Ziegler. Bert, I think Tennessee's just been tougher than Creighton yeah. down the stretch. Yeah, they more athletic, quicker, stronger. What a big three-point play by Toby Walker. Huge. And so Ziegler now, that's the seventh team foul. He'll go to the line. With Tennessee leading 71-64. 117 remaining. Ziegler fires. Missed it. A walk against the rebound. Obey snatches that. Now James comes out. Tennessee's going to spread the floor. And, and Ashworth fouls. What a play by Tobey. A walk -a. Got that offensive rebound on the missed free throw. That's his game. Offensive rebounding. He came through what. big time. That was impressive. And James got fouled. He'll go to the line. One twelve remaining in the game. Tennessee up by seven. James fires now eight. Look at and now Walker 
and caught Brenner go flying to the floor. James <laughs> hits the free throw. Hey, Josiah's come up big in this game, too. Yeah, he yeah. has. 12 points. That block down there that got the whole run yeah. started. Mm -hmm. 112 between Tennessee and the Elite Eight. James will try another one. On the way, and good. Josiah Jordan James hits two big free throws, and Tennessee leads 73 64. Great run out of the time, 105 to go. Alexander, free throw line in the lane, fall away 10 footer, no good, but there's a foul. Meshack's done. Yep, Meshack fouled him. But I would expect this Tennessee crowd is going to give Jemai Meshack a huge ovation as he exits and heads to the bench with his fifth foul. He's, He's been a game changer. Yeah, he certainly deserves one. Meshack is telling them to say it wasn't him who fouled. And so now they're... The Padilla said, we're not reviewing that. The official, now Tennessee had walked over to the bench. Now they're coming back out on the floor. Maybe they did change it. Let's see. They got Tobey. Well, it still says on the... Our uh, stat monitor. It's still... Shack, but yeah, I think they did change it to a walker. So that's it. A walker got the foul. So Meshack stays in the game. Alexander at the line shoots and hits. He's got five. 73 65. Second free throw on the way and good by Alexander. And now both teams going to make some subs. Bert, what a compliment for this team when you learn right before the game that Santiago Vescovi is not going to be able to play. And Jamon Meshack, a guy that uh, just does whatever needs to be done to win, comes in, starts the game, and really changed the game even though he only scored four points. Yeah, he did change the game. They don't have the lead at halftime if he had gotten foul trouble. James finally gets the ball in bounds to Ganey, who lost it. And he stepped out of bounds. It'll be great in basketball. 73-66. Tennessee. Now Ganey comes out and Meshack comes back in. A little offense, defense. 56.8 seconds remaining. The winner gets Purdue here on Sunday. Shireman trying to throw it in. Shireman gets it in bounds to Ashworth. Turns and launches a long three. Way off the mark. Rebound down low to James. Tennessee's got the ball. 50 seconds to go, and Dalton Connect's going to be fouled. 50 seconds, Burke. Yep, away from the Elite Eight. A couple free throws. Would make it nine. Balance scoring for Tennessee. Dalton Connect 22, Ziegler 15 with six assists. Awaka has five. Meshack with four. James with 13. Edu with four. Ganey with seven. Carr with three. You know everybody that played yeah. played well. Connect at the line. Shoots, hits. 23. Ganey is playing, by the way, in his 100th college game between USC Upstate and Tennessee. Connect, second one, good. Connect. He's been a force down the stretch. Tennessee leads 75-66. Creighton's got to go fast. They lob it left side, Alexander. Meshack right on top of him. Goes to the basket, lays it up, missed the layup. That's it. Yep, Meshack gets the rebound. And Greg McDermott, I think he's saying don't foul. We'll see. Nope. Sherman's going to come over and foul, and James is going to the line. Now the Big Orange contingent behind the Tennessee bench. They're up and celebrating. This Tennessee team's going to go to the Elite Eight for just the second time in school history. And, Bert, they had to earn it. They did have to earn it. They beat a good team. Creighton. Tennessee had led by 16 points in the second half. Saw Creighton come back and cut it down to three. But then connected two big three-pointers. And Tennessee is taking care of the ball down the stretch. James at the line, hits the free throw. 
Tennessee with four turnovers in this game. Just four. Second free throw good by James. He's got 15. Tennessee leads 76-66. 25 seconds to go. Ashworth drives in traffic. Kicks it to Alexander. His three on the way is good. And Creighton going to take a timeout and extend the game. 77 to 69. Bert, this is a well-coached Tennessee basketball team. Yep. And when even Creighton made that run, you didn't see any panic. You didn't see any bad shots. Uh, the fact that Tennessee in this game only has four turnovers is remarkable. Yeah, it is. It really is. In a high-pressure game like this, they really <laughs> – and players stepped up. I mean, yeah. Tobey makes that three-point play. Uh, Ziegler made plays all night. Our defense was just tremendous. It just locked them down. I mean, they're – holding them to 69 is, is pretty good. Yeah. Mayshack had eight rebounds, a couple of assists. I don't know how many deflections. He changed the game, yeah. no doubt about it. How many minutes did he – well, we don't have that, but he, well, he was excellent. Forward. 21, 21 minutes and 15 seconds. Of course, remember he sat out yeah, the first half with two fouls. Yeah, he only played eight, eight, almost nine minutes in the first half. If he plays more the first half, we probably have a lead at halftime. I mean, he's a difference maker. They started scoring when he went out. Outstanding game, though. Yeah, it really and is. Ganey hit some big shots. James played great. Connect was outstanding. Ziegler outstanding. Jonas played pretty good. Estrella came in and battled. Cam Carr hit a big three. I mean, everybody contributed. Well, it's just the sign of a veteran, well-coached basketball team. Yep, no and, doubt. And when uh, and a tough team. Yes, physically tough. And when Creighton was throwing haymakers, Tennessee able to withstand them, and then Connect hit those two big three-pointers to really turn the whole momentum back around after Creighton had cut it down to three. 19.9 seconds remaining. Tennessee's got the ball, and Creighton is they're going to keep playing. They're out of timeouts, though. Ganey runs the baseline, gets to Ziegler, and they grab him right away. Farabello grabs him. And now Ziegler will have a chance to walk down to the other end. So the Blue Jays, who finished second in the Big East, will conclude their season at 25-10. and 10. This their fourth straight NCAA tournament appearance, and Tennessee will march on as the balls will improve to 27 and 8. Ziegler at the line. Fires the first free throw and he missed it short. That might be the only bad thing he's done tonight. <laughs> he may be a little tired. He might be, but Man, he's what, played hard. He's been outstanding, as usual. Ziegler will try another one. James comes back into the game for Tennessee. 18.7 seconds ago, Tennessee leads 77-69. Second free throw, that's good. You knew he'd make the second one. 16 points for Ziegler. Blue Jays trying to get it in bounds. They finally do. Alexander, 78-69. 15 seconds to go. Alexander, top of the key, launches a bomb, and that's good. They're out of timeouts. So Tennessee gets it into Ziegler, and he's fouled with 10 seconds to go. 78-72. And we will march to the other end and watch Ziegler shoot more free throws. Bert, what about the matchup with Purdue on Sunday? Well, Purdue's really good. They're big and physical. they got an excellent point guard. I think it's a great matchup. We'll have to play our best to beat them. Second time that Tennessee and Purdue will match up. Ziegler at the line. Shoots and hits. Yep. 17 points for Ziegler. It's time we beat Purdue. Yeah. yeah. They put us out of the tournament a few years ago. Second shot is good by Ziegler. He's got 18 points. 10.7 to go, and Tennessee leading 80-72. They get it inbounds to Ashworth. Ashworth pulls up top of the key. A long three is good. Ashworth hits again. He's got 16 now. So it's 80-75, and now Connect is fouled. And so... The Blue Jays are trading threes for twos right now at the free throw line. They've cut it back down to five, but just 4.9 seconds remaining. Dalton Connect. 
Look, his consistency has just been amazing this year. 30 times in double figures. And tonight, leading the way for Tennessee again. 80-75, Tennessee. Four seconds left. Connect. First free throw on the way is good. Dalton connect now with 23 points. And Conkbrenner is coming out for the Blue Jays, so these Creighton fans can salute him for a great season. Had a great career. Yeah, great career. Shireman as well. Shireman's coming out, and the Creighton fans will salute him. Nice gesture by Greg McDermott, the coach at Creighton. That's hard, Bert. You went through this when yeah. you get to the NCAA tournament, Some and it suddenly the door just slams in your face. Yeah, and it's over. Yeah. You're used to practicing every day and being around your friends and your guys, and suddenly it's over. And they're taking out all the starters and the players that play a bunch one at a time for Creighton. Creighton, you got to give them some credit. They were down by 16, and they fought back and cut it down to three. Greg McDermott. And Farabello are embracing Telly's. Farabello's emotional. Yeah. Tears are flowing for him. Connect at the line. Fires, hits it again. 24 for Dalton Connect. Creighton will bring the ball in bounds. Five seconds to go. They'll count it down. Tennessee fans counting it down to a ball victory and a trip to the Elite Eight as the Tennessee Volunteers have come to Detroit in this Sweet 16 matchup. Tennessee holds off the Creighton Blue Jays down the stretch, and Tennessee goes off to an 82-75 victory and advances to the Elite Eight. Bert, what a moment for Tennessee as the balls go to just their second Elite Eight in history. Outstanding. It's a big time event. The Tennessee's deserved it. They've worked hard all season. They got a great team. They played really good tonight all the way around. Defense, offense. They didn't turn the ball over. They out-rebounded. Uh, well, I'm not sure they out-rebounded, but it was close. But they took it to Creighton big time. And you got to give the defense credit. They've been known for defense here at Tennessee. But the offense played well tonight, but the defense carried us. Tennessee did out rebound them 36 34. The key stat Tennessee trailed at halftime 35 34. And then early in the second half, the balls go on a 18 0 run yep. to open up a 16 point advantage. And then Creighton came back and made a run at them. Cut it down to three, but Dalton Connect hit two big three-pointers. Tobey Walker got a three-pointer, and Tennessee goes on to win to advance to the Elite Eight. What a win for Tennessee. Unbelievable. And so Tennessee now, they're celebrating with the fans. Now they're going to get these fans out of the arena. And Josiah Jordan-James is coming over to see us. And Josiah... What a win, and going to the Elite Eight, and what a special moment for this Tennessee team and this program. Yeah, I mean, you know, we put in a lot of hard work. You know, myself, I've been here five years waiting for this moment, and just to see all the hard work pay off, knowing that we're not done yet, but we're, we're one step closer to our goal. It means the world. Uh, Santiago Vestry couldn't play because of the flu. You come out, hit those two big three-pointers, really got the team off to a great start. Yeah, we got we got dogs on our team. We're a pack of wolves, man, and it's just not, just the next man up mentality. We hated that. We, he couldn't be out here. We know that if he could, he would have been out here, but next man up mentality, everybody in that locker room is prepared to go on a nightly basis on, and on the biggest stage in college basketball. Well, Joe, that big 16 or 18-0 run to start the second half was keyed by your block. It started things off. But from there, we really got the momentum and took it to them. Yeah, I mean, our, our defense feeds our offense. We, we are somebody who, you know, we're hard-nosed and tough on the defensive end, and we, we can get out and get in transition points. makes the game so much easier for us, and, you know, we pride ourselves on our defense. And what about Mayshack? How did he play? I mean, it, it's hard to put into words how much he means to us, how much he means to me personally. He's a dog. He, he's, he's the leader of the pack. He's one of the leaders for sure. And the way he plays, the effort he brings night in and night out, we wouldn't be in this position uh, without him for sure. I don't know if you know this. Tennessee had four turnovers tonight. I mean, you took care of the ball, and, and it was amazing just how well you controlled the tempo of this game. Yeah, Coach not going to be happy about that. He's still going to let us know about those, <laughs> about those four, four turnovers, turnovers for sure. 
But uh, man, it's just a testament to you know our growth and how how much we trust each other. Uh, we're a team that you know we play as one on both ends of the floor, and it just showed in the stat sheet tonight. Well, Creighton makes the run. They cut it back down to three, and then Dalton hits those two big three pointers. You guys never got rattled. Nah, man. We we, we know that we can weather any storm. We got a lot of a lot of experience out there, and we know that any five guys are out there. We're we're built for the moment. We're built for any type of run in the game of basketball, and I'm glad that we're able to come out with the victory. All right, last question: the rematch with Purdue. You met him in Honolulu. And so give us a thought on meeting them again on Sunday. We wouldn't, we wouldn't want it any other way. Um, we definitely are looking forward to that game, knowing that, you know, we got to clean some stuff stuff up from, you know, the, the second month, first month in college basketball. We've gotten a lot better. They've gotten a lot better. And it's going to be a, an exciting game, but we wouldn't want it any other way. Josiah, congratulations. Thank Going you. To congratulations. Eight. Sounds Thank great. You. Josiah Jordan James was with us here courtside after Tennessee knocks off Creighton, 82-75. Bert, it's... Amazing when you get in this tournament and you advance with a win and you keep going, you keep dancing, and this Tennessee team is going to the Elite Eight. Yeah, it's exciting. I mean, they're one step from the Final Four, and it's a big step with Purdue. But they can beat Purdue. If they play well, if they play like they played tonight, they'll have a shot big time. And Tennessee's depth really showed tonight. Meshack, of course, he started tonight, but Owaka comes off the bench and plays well. Ganey comes off the bench and plays well. Estrella played briefly and played well. Cam Carr broke briefly and played well, hit a big shot. Those guys all stepped up and did their job tonight. But Ziegler keyed it with the defense, he and Meshack. The, the ball pressure they put on Creighton, they couldn't run their offense no. all night. And Shireman went one-on-one -on -one and made some tremendous moves and some tremendous shots. But they didn't get much easy, and we didn't turn the ball over. We, we hit shots. We made 11 threes. 11 out of 24, 40, almost 46%. That was huge for us. And then connect. At the right time, they get him the ball, and he, he delivers. 16 assists, four turnovers for Tennessee. Unbelievable. And Remarkable. In the Sweet 16 game. Yeah. Unbelievable. So, so Tennessee advances Sunday. They'll take on the Purdue Boilermakers in the Elite Eight here in Detroit. Final score again tonight from Detroit. Tennessee wins over Creighton, 82-75. It's Big Orange Basketball Time. And as the official health care provider of the Vols, the University of Tennessee Medical Center is proud to serve you, UT athletes, and Vol fans living in East Tennessee. Like the Vols, we recognize the power of leadership and teamwork to achieve the best results. That's wisdom for your life and wisdom where you live. Visit wisdomnearme.com to find a location near you. At Humana, we believe better care begins with listening, so that's just what we do. We listen to what our members want and work hard to bring you support to help you feel your best. Our Medicare Advantage plans are made to fit a variety of budget and health needs. You'll get personalized help as you explore your options and benefits that go beyond what you might expect. Learn more at GetHumana.com. Humana, a more human way to health care. Humana is a Medicare Advantage organization with a Medicare contract. Enrollment in any Humana plan depends on contract renewal. Fall fans, basketball. Basketball is heating up at Big Orange Country, and now's the time to march into French's Shoes and Boots for a special giveaway. How would you like to win a new pair of Ariat boots this spring? French's Shoes and Boots, Tennessee's oldest family-owned boot store, and Ariat, America's most trusted boot brand, are teaming up to give away a free pair of Ariat boots a day for 20 days in March. All you have to do is march yourself into one of French's 14 locations across the Volunteer State to register to win. March into French's. What's better than a Tennessee Vols game day? A Big Orange game day with Truly Hard Seltzer. From backyards to box seats, Truly Hard Seltzer's winning blend of refreshing flavor and endless variety will take your game to the next level. At only 100 calories in 22 different flavors, including fan favorites like wild berry and strawberry lemonade, there's something for everyone. No one is just one flavor. Live Truly. Find it near you at trulyhardseltzer.com. Truly Hard Seltzer Beverage Company, Boston, Mass. Please drink responsibly. Tennessee is one over Creighton, 82-75 in this Sweet 16 matchup in Detroit. They're off to the Elite Eight on Sunday against the Purdue Boilermakers. It's time to announce the advanced auto parts player of the game. Burn up, are you interested to see who you picked? I know who I'd pick. I'm picking Jemiah Meshack. That's who I would pick, too. I'm picking him because, I mean, his he was a warrior tonight, and he, he was the difference in the game, I thought. I mean, a lot of people played well and made big shots, but he was he was special. And his defense on Alexander and his defense on uh, on Ashworth was, was just tremendous. And really, 
gave Tennessee what they needed to win. He contributed some points. What did he have? Four points and eight. Well, eight big rebounds, two assists, two steals, two block shots. He did it all. He sure did. Jemai Meshack just set the tone for Tennessee. Again, playing. He got the start tonight because he was playing in place of Santiago Vescovi, who was out with the flu. But uh, Meshack covered uh, that uh, area of the game defensively. He was just tremendous. Oh, he he was outstanding. He and Ziegler are unbelievable. Ashworth and, and Alexander are going to have nightmares about those guys. They just covered them up. So congratulations to Jemai Meshack, our advanced auto parts player of the game. With Advanced Auto Parts, you can get the part you need from the comfort of your garage. Order online with Advanced Same Day and get your part with Same Day Delivery or in-store pickup. Advance your auto at Advanced Auto Parts. Tennessee and Purdue, Sunday afternoon here from Detroit. And we'll have the coverage for you here on the Vol Network. For now, for Burt Bertelkamp, I'm Bob Kessling, inviting you to stay tuned for the Big Orange Scoreboard and the Rick Barnes Show coming up next here on the Vol Network. Hey friends, it's Cougar from Rusty Wallace Nissan on Clinton Highway. Brand new Sentras, Altimus, Frontiers, and Kicks, all on sale and all ready to go. Everyone knows our new Rogues and Pathfinders are slam dunk deals, but the Madness of March also includes Sentras, Altimus, Frontiers, and Kicks. Rates from 1.9% APR, all come with our no-charge 200,000-mile warranty, no payment.